I don't. I didn't want to unmute you, but. <laughs> wow. Here we are. Oh, here. here we wow. are. Well, hello. Welcome. We are here. Welcome, everybody. Thank hello. you. Hello. Whale Welcome, Welcome. everybody. Oh. I'm sorry. Now, we're going to put Wiley Day Oh, wow. Hey, Ozzy. Here we are. Here we are. Look. <laughs> I've, got, I've got way I've got too much it. effort for me to go out and get that mug cut. Get T Rex. <laughs> I'm sorry. T Rex. Look, okay. Your I... mug is cool, though. If all I can say is that my mug has my face on it, and no one else has a mug so with So does mine. On it. No, but, no, I have there. a mug with your face on it. You know it. This is this is actually me. Face. Is that, I have a mug with that's your face photorealistic. Yeah. Ozzy there for, is it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but not today. Exactly I got what he looks like. Uh, I have a mug with yeah. your face on it too, but it's not from your shop. <laughs> just really like you, you know. Don't tell them about our bootlegging operation, Cuddly. <laughs> uh, secret Aussie altar. <laughs> oh, Nokia that. says, "Cuddly, what?" There's a reason why I'm facing the blank wall and not the rest of the room. Because there's a shrine <laughs> to all the streamers that Cuddly loves in front of her. Oh yeah. my god, that'd be adorable. <laughs> <laughs> also not unexpected. If I'm not on that wall, I'm gonna be sad. No, you're 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 top on that wall, Denny. Yeah. Wow. Really. Now There's I'm insulted. Little... Damn. No, you're on the wall, man. Top you spot. Just, you didn't even want to be there a second ago. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but, but now that Denny's the there, there's a hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> it just works with the decor, okay? <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be doing something else aside from no. discussing uh, our rankings? Are you I sure? Think no. we'll be, like playing some form of game, DVD, some sort of possibly. tabletop game, maybe? I don't know. That seems unlikely. Yeah, we never play, yeah. never play any Dibsy's game. on yet. Trickster. Oh, thank you for the hydration. Oh, I... I'm getting moist already. I don't like. Did someone say moist? Those. Yes, Those knives do not fly in a straight ah. line. Let me tell oh. you, they turn. They <laughs> curve like fucking gunmen from the movie Wanted. Those knives, it's, he's not Trickster, he's it's Diego from Umbrella bullet. Academy. Oh my God. Ooh. Nice. Is this speaking as a survivor or as a killer? Like, who, who, have survivor. You him? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I've heard he's a little bit <laughs> OP. Those, Which is those fine knives me. are I'm not going in a straight that. line. They definitely have some homing capability. He could put me on a hook and I'd be happy with it. It's just... <laughs> Look, this Look is the I love his design. <laughs> I love his design in his animated intro and his mm. basic skin, but everything else, nah, nah. He winks at you though. I think that makes up for everything. Yeah, yeah. Like he does? Just, <laughs> yeah, and he turns around to stare at you. Ooh. Like in I haven't screen. even played the game just... and I'm already flustered. <laughs> he, he just has this Jeez. thing where he literally just turns and just Oh no, there's looks something at the in the chat. Camera. Hobbit says, how much did you hear? <laughs> I might have to <laughs> What do you mean a Scottish person? I'm not Scottish, I'm Hello Kitty. <gasps> just My because God. there's Hello Kitty person! person. I can't just see it. There's like a bar in the pattern here. Oh my god, it's covered up by the little bar at the top that shows me again. Oh, oh no. No. Joseph is up down. Yay! There yes. we go. Yay. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> oh no, I got it spot in my hood uh, again. Okay. Somewhere. A pocket <laughs> somewhere down here. Very down here. Come like, where are you going? Yes. She's just running off. This, uh, <laughs> this is my Academy Hello Kitty Kigurumi. Do you mean? <gasps> Love it. Academy. Academy? <laughs> oh! No. We haven't tried it yet. <laughs> no. No, my Is that a banana? Well, in... No. It's well, big everyone. Are we ready? Are we? Yes. 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 Sure. Does this look like a oh, banana thanks. onesie to you? <laughs> what kind of bananas are you eating? Oh my god. Good question. Don't don't make but, me break out the poor bunny onesie that got abused the other day. Abused? Oh yeah, for Easter. Wait, what? It's time to start now. Everyone oh, I, I, settle down. Well, <laughs> do we need to implement the clap? <laughs> no, we do we do the hands and head hands on heads. Okay, shut up now, or <laughs> 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 
better be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But, but, but they talked first. <laughs> <laughs> But we are here today to play, as every Sunday, for a very long time now, I will point out. It's been five months we've played this what? game. Since we stopped hey, the game. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. Like, I if demand we, a if refund. We count, if we count the three weeks of break we had, it's still that still makes four, over four months mm -hmm. since oh, we oh. started this. It's, and we're only yeah. level six. Yeah. What I mean, do you mean only level six. That is the fastest leveling I have started, ever encountered. Yeah. You started at level three. Let's point mm. out you did start yeah. level three. And this is uh, this is episode sixteen, including the. Oh, my God. oh you've been according counting. My notes, it's, yeah. According to my notes, it's seventeen. Oh. Did I hold on? Oh. Have I got the number wrong? <laughs> I'm, I'm double checking here. I want you to argue because my because my thing says seventeen, but I'm it, I'm well. Ready to be wrong. I'm well ready to be wrong. <laughs> My thing says 17. And while you look that up, I'm gonna say hello everyone in all the chats. I'm Josie Poser. I'm the resident dungeon mistress. I am joined here today by some people, and we're gonna play D&D in our running campaign in the home world of Dramonia. And we're playing... We're coming up on the end of Act 1, Cold Down Under, and uh, as per usual, we all have drinks, and I'm today drinking some uh, lemon lime soda from a pumpkin jack one. Nice. Lovely. Orb, who are you playing and what are you drinking? Uh, I am Orb. Uh, I play Arthur, Arthur Orblet, funny enough. Um, the third. Uh, I am currently drinking um, uh, a type of beer, which is uh, native to my land. Um, Baby! Uh... <laughs> Baby! <laughs> oh my god. Orb. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Orb, um, um, look, it just don't tell me it's a it's a 4x stubby, mate. Don't, don't do that to me. Don't do me dirty like that. <laughs> I'm from... I'm from... Uh, the North Queensland area, and we drink the great oh, Bundy's. The great, a uh, great northern. Uh, the good, good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> following on, we have Aussie Devfro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? We're <laughs> waiting. Hi, okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Ozzy Devfro. I'm also a little ill at the moment, so forgive me if I'm a little spaced out. Um, <laughs> I'm playing Rudy Magic Hands McGee, who is the faithful cleric of the group that heals everyone's boo boos and owies. Uh, tonight, as with every night, day, second of my entire existence, I'm drinking some coffee, um, and I have a problem. The problem is not enough coffee. Hook it up to my veins. Uh, yeah, throwing that over to Roju. Ah, that happens to be me. Uh, I'm Roju. I come from Participation Award. I'm playing Gerald, the wizard, uh, who may or may not be secretly a warlock, but don't tell anyone. Um, a what? <clears throat> no, you didn't, you didn't hear anything. Oh. Uh, he's definitely a wizard, um, and he's having generally a terrible time uh, being in danger. Same. <laughs> but you know he's trying his best and that's what's important um and i'm drinking water out of what people seem to think is a milk bottle and <laughs> and it does look like it and an orange drink or drank if you will drank i will not <laughs> <laughs> what about drop it's glue well, uh -huh. if it's blue, then I need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pass no. it along, Roju. I'm going to pass it on to Denimation. Thank you for the dab along. <laughs> I am Denimation. <laughs> I am playing the Daskus Mighty Human Barbarian. <laughs> um, and he needs the... Great introductions already. Anything because he is great. 
But tonight, <laughs> I am drinking some lovely Baxwell mead out of my dragon cup. I said backwash Ooh. for a second. Oh, so did I, but that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and passing that one on to the cuddly. Oh my god, do I have to dab too? Oh yes. god, you do, no. yeah. Thank you. Thank Received. You. Received. No. Oh no. Let, let the Received. energy flow through. Hello. You. My name is Cuddly Raptor, and I play Nana Malavora, and she is a feisty granny gnome who really likes to cook and is pretty sure all her druidic powers come from food. And I am going to pass this on to Pudding Tom. Hi. I'm so glad you didn't dab. I don't have to now. <laughs> no, you do. It's still I... mandatory. Sorry. I'd knock something over. <laughs> I'm gonna tell. I'm guessing on cold down under. These are the amazing people. You invited me. I'm happy. I'm playing George, who was just introduced, and he is a homebrew of our wonderful GM Josie Poser, who's right next to me here. Uh, well, uh, technically, it is a you're so far below me on my screen. Yeah. It's like, For me, so I get to be far. right next to Josie and right above <laughs> Cuddly. That's true. Well, I can see it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm playing a starling race. Uh. You'll get to know a little bit more about that as we play. Mm. Uh, what I'm drinking is I'm drinking some Earl Grey tea out of a Harry Potter mug. Nice. Ooh, and nice. I'm also, because I am also a little sick, I am drinking um, baking soda water out of a mug in a straw. <laughs> that sounds awful. I haven't had drinking <laughs> soda in water. Does it help? I heard about it earlier today and it actually worked. So. Uh, it like, if you have like an upset stomach, does it work like ginger or something? Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's like tums, but liquid form. Oh, oh cool. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get tums over here. Yeah. Well, you've learned something new today, and that's all, folks. You have. This has been uh, health uh, so hotline. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> the more you know. Roll that outro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't oh, even have an outro. Yeah. We don't have an outro. Oh we god, we don't even have an oh, intro. No. Oh, no. oh god. Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> it's getting warm. Oh, uh, okay. Update, you were right, Josie. It is 17, and I did change it, but it didn't save in Twitch. So thanks for that, stream manager. Uh, there we go. I have realized, I have realized that if you try changing in stream Streamlabs, if you try changing the title and you then go to change the tags, the title reverts back to what it previously was. Is that what it mm -hmm. is? Oh. Uh, oh. I gotta do tags first. You gotcha. know, I just oh. change it all in the stream manager. Yeah, because I, I just did it when I was going live, so I was just like. Yeah. <laughs> I fully support Josie. I, I, feel like I can't even remember what I named it. So. I don't know why though. <laughs> I, I'm here for a sass. I'm here for the sass. Well, I mean, oh, no. my life or with this stream, so. To, to, <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, it is on point because Nana is immune to fear. It's true. Mm. Nana doesn't <laughs> care anymore. I'm having one of Nana's drinks. Too. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I'm getting in character. What, what was the name of the What was the name of the drink again, Cuddly? Uh, I think it's barley. Wee? Sweet barley something. Sweet, sweet barley brew. Sweet barley it's brew. Not barley wheat. You don't nice. drink wheat. So. Do, no, it's not a. It's not generally, a liquid generally. Probably. Wait, we're drinking weed. <laughs> Gilly weed. <laughs> Quick, drink your water. You'll be safe. <laughs> oh. well, Should we play some Dungeons I'm and trying to drink, but it's just coming up my gills again. I'm not rehydrating. Ew. <laughs> It's gonna be okay, Joseph. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Oh my god, it's not gonna be okay. But just tell her that anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just but say everything is <laughs> Let's get to it. Oh yeah. Last time on Cold Down Under, our party had found themselves in the city of Bora. They were settling down for the night after just having arrived. Some went shopping to get to know the city, look around. Everything was open quite late, seems to be an, uh, an evening kind of city. Uh, few stayed back, 
uh, Das Goose was under house arrest because they had brought in a dangerous item that was awaiting appraisal being brought to uh, the Midwinter clan. And Rudy stayed back to meditate on some of the recent events. But as you all came back, you settled down for the night, you went to sleep, and everyone had a very peculiar dreams where they were presented with some choices and opportunities. Mm. These choices were made, they were told to choose one or none of these different boons placed before them, these pacts. And everyone made their choice, be it for uh, better or worse. Who knows how fate has changed. And as they came through, they came to uh, wake the next morning, uh, had some talk, noticed some changes amongst themselves. And they all went up for breakfast, had a hearty buffet, rustic breakfast, and uh, a character walked into the tavern, present with a tow, in tow a bear, presented a parcel to the group, apparently a package sent from the guild, a care package for their time spent in the snow. Arthur Orlet III again tried hitting on the hostess, who uh, reciprocated, and a mm -hmm. date was had. Around lunchtime, as Arthur then was sneaking out of the main hostess' office, he saw what looked to be a child rummaging through the register. Grabbing the child's hand and telling them to stop, George simply tried to like let's let's talk about this somewhere else. And Arthur brought him down to their room, where uh, some people seemed to disbelieve the blindness of our little newfound friend. And George, in an attempt to just stay safe tried casting a suggestion spell on the party's cleric, which backfired, and we take up as Gerald <laughs> the Wizard is having none of this shit. <laughs> I am having none of this shit. <laughs> what is happening? Such a recap. I am <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we forgot so also, we, we, re we renamed him uh, Gerald the Beatnik. <laughs> Gerald the <and> Beatnik. <laughs> I don't remember this, did we? Wait, what? <laughs> what? What are you doing, man? Casting spells in our group? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little lost, but let's just move on. I see. <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> Before right. we get to it, however, I will remind that there are community challenges in all the stream to unlock inspiration for those who do not have it. And here on my end, you can put points toward community challenges to unlock items for the party. Mm. But we Much take into the game, as Gerald had exclaimed to George, to stop trying to cast spells. Yes. Yes, now, I'd, um, can I make some sort of arcana check perhaps to know what spell was being cast um i'd say sure the the dc is a medium ish kind of high it's not your expertise you mm -hmm. are book learned in arcana mm -hmm. but it is not in your own repertoire but however mm -hmm. with a 21 nice roll i there will you say uh you you make a deduction that it's probably a suggestion spell uh, oh no. <laughs> it, it, there's definitely enchantment magic and ah. phrases. Uh, the, the hand gestures mm -hmm. and the, the wording of the spell is a bit different to what you've learned, but mm. there's enough context clues for you to pick up that definitely an enchantment type charm mm -hmm. spell. <clears throat> hmm. Trying to suggest something, perhaps, it seems. Rudy, this one was trying to cast some sort of charm or suggestion spell on you, I'm afraid. Um, oh, ah, well, good thing my mind is like a, a tall, imposing cathedral, impenetrable, except by small orphans who desire food. Yes. And money. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Yes. <laughs> uh, that, that, be as that be that as it may... Uh, 
why exactly should we not take you directly to the guards to deal with right now, George, if that is your real name? First of all, it is my real name. Second of all, uh, <clears throat> I just wanted you guys to not think I was a threat. That's all. Because uh, I'm oh. not. And, and you guys and so are very you're yelling and I'm a little scared here. Was the right so. way to do it. I see. Yes. Well, I tried talking. You guys wouldn't listen, so... Yes, okay. The thief who is now trying to cast spells on us, why are we not taking you to the guards right now? <clears throat> I didn't technically steal. I put the money back. Yeah, she put the money back. <laughs> oh, but... He? Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> why are you defending them? I... <laughs> They literally George. just tried to cast a spell on our cleric to 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 put something in his mind. Well, well we, I mean, you heard what I said. Ima imagine, imagine this. A small person walks through the door. I'm going to regret this listening to this. Strong, strong goose, uh, a, a brilliant wizard, a cleric that is just do drop dead gorgeous, Flattery. and Anna, who's just you know, mwah. Okay. Alright. Now, wouldn't you not be intimidated if you're about way high, can't see, <laughs> scared, and probably looking for some food? Uh, George says nothing about the seeing part, just playing along with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> yes, <laughs> Arthur, I would be intimidated. So, and we and we just started yelling like we back and forth yelling like Arthur would have tried to calm someone down to be on their side uh, yeah I exactly I, you're, you're so hurting my brain you're hurting my brain second. so much Arthur because <laughs> Gerald's I... like flustered and everyone's flustered she's like can we finally sit down you're not supposed to eat standing up Everyone, take a seat. Let's discuss this over the snacks, and maybe we can come to some conclusion here. Just my question: Is George still laying on the ground from when he fell? If oh, you want him to. to <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's help yes, George. Pull George up into a seated position. <laughs> like, if he relies on some pillows and some rugs and such, and we give him some food. So is this like a just a, are we feeding and releasing here? Like what? What's <laughs> what's? Releasing, oh my god, Gerald! <laughs> it it might be the scent of the delicious food that Nana has cooked and the sudden realization that you know I haven't had second breakfast yet. But I think we might let's let's just let's just hear George out. Thank the, you, thank you. The sit down. I um, agree. Nice to what is, what, this is I. I Ger Gerald now is like he, he, he just he feels like he's losing the battle of logic here against a tide of illogical answers so he's just going to like flabbergastedly sit down and just start eating and just like I, I, I just this is good man and no casting spells on each other at the dinner table the <laughs> dinner table oh Nana <laughs> Arthur <laughs> <laughs> yes, because Arthur. Now it's <laughs> honor. I won't cast any more spells behind his back. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Nana does not see. Nana is busying herself with the food. Nana pretty trusts. Sure a, pretty sure there's a role for that, isn't there? <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I've forgotten to write down, but I do believe that Arthur has the highest passive perception. You probably, probably. know it is. Arthur's not he doing anything because Arthur's on George's side. <laughs> Arthur is fully in support of George. The manager just they still can't him. believe that they've been able to travel <laughs> such far distances all the way over here. Just fully <laughs> believing his story, it seems is amazing. All right, with a negative one in perception. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
But yeah, as you're you're all sitting down, Nana's brought up some snacks. Uh, you all have a moment to calm down, George. What? What do you say to these fine people who are now all just waiting for you to explain yourself? <laughs> This is really good. Oh. <laughs> Getting on not as good as I was last. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, this is good food. Good food, but continue. Wow, compliments to the chef who cooked this. Mm. Oh, that would be me. Wow. Anna, oh, wow. Amazing. Are you a renowned like chef somewhere? Like this is. Oh amazing. no, this is I'm best just, I've ever had I'm in my just life. The cook. Sorry. Wow, <sighs> that's that's really yummy. I love it. Good food. Mm. <clears throat> What was the question? So, uh, <laughs> why why were you in the tavern taking money from the register? I mean, look at me. Do you think I have enough food, like money to eat? This place is rich. I didn't think they'd miss it. I didn't steal it from the the the, the little jabby feeling shop down there. <laughs> there there's a board on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to say I know exactly which shot you're talking about, but I'm afraid they all have some boards, so, uh... Exactly. And this one does not. Ah. So, I felt around first. Well, mm, Freezing. <laughs> Regardless, I, I think we've, we've discussed... You don't really have a great idea on <laughs> how you got here, but what is... What are you looking to do, George? What are you What are you looking to? Are you just Are you just going from place to place looking for food? What you know? Yes. What are your I'm living. My aspiration oh. is to live. Well. Until a ripe old that, age of sixty. That's, that's, that's I mean, morbid. That is how it is on the streets, young. Rudy. You may You may not know this, but that That is how it is on the streets. What do you mean? I. I uh, no, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, well. Okay. Well, I say we bring her along. I bring her along. It, like and, and Gerald is being like <laughs> tight lipped, tight knuckled on his spoon this whole time. As soon as Arthur's like, "Oh, we should bring her along," he's like, "What?" <laughs> well, <laughs> you want to throw someone blind to the wolves we're facing? The literal wolves. The literal wolves. <laughs> Look, look, I am could, you're not wrong, Rudy. George Literal is, wolves. We could say George is a part of the party that we had to take what? because the skills that George requires. What skills? George gets, what skills? George Thank you, Rudy. Paid. Finally, someone's talking sense. George gets paid, and then what? George can from yeah. your face Why is? Very much. Your you, excuse me. To give I do have skills. Pay. Pulls out a pipe and starts playing. Oh, that's like, is it good playing or bad playing? Arthur goes, Make your performance check. Performance? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> god, I hope it's bad. Oh, I honestly lost. hope it's terrible. This is good. Oh, it's, I good. Good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Nana's jamming. Nana's cat jam. It's, um, it's a beautiful tune. It's aw. wonderful. You know, oh, yeah. so if you can play that well, you could earn perfectly good coin in literally any tavern across the country. Why resort to stealing? You think they'd let me in wearing this? Yes. I'm wearing, like, raggedy clothes. Maybe not like... this, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, George, George, take her shopping! Mean, I don't mean take her shopping with a new coat! I don't mean to be, you know, point anything out, but how do you know what you're wearing? I can... Feel the holes, reaches and like sticks a hand through the holes. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the light oh breeze of God. ice wind. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Arthur has some has some like you know hand me downs or something he can spare. Oh, let, let, let me have a quick he's look. He's so willing to help out. Surely his, <laughs> yes. his Sunday best would do here. Give give him your best clothes, Arthur, and mm. we'll send him on his merry way, tummy full, rugged up and warm, and not stealing from our personal belongings. <laughs> is is, is you know Arthur a little big in comparison? <clears throat> oh, we ball? can take them up. I'm pretty good with... Well, you're pretty good with a sewing kit, aren't you, Goose? Yeah, but... Well, I don't feel right just <laughs> sort of putting 
this person straight back onto the street. Arthur, like, have you even stopped to ask this person what they want? To survive. Did you not hear that just before? And you George, went through like, George the Wolves. <laughs> we're no, on a like... dangerous mission, Arthur. We'll keep George George, George, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I Listen. say we take George on a fashion shopping trip. We have a more <laughs> and, <laughs> and they come out of the the dressing room and we're like and then they go back and go back and it's like Yay! <laughs> one last time. But you yeah. can't see the thumbs up. Listen, George. We're all part of the Midnight Suns Guild of Volunteers, and there is no doubt you have heard of them. Have I? No, no idea. Glorio? <laughs> you haven't even heard of them. Arthur, for God's sake. <laughs> what, you're trying to say our okay, reputation I'll... means something all the way out here? Wait, Apparently okay, not. Everyone. We're arguing a lot. Let's just ask George what we can do to help him, okay? And then we can send George on his merry way, uh, if he so desires, but clearly he is in need of some help. People don't just steal from other people because they want to. Probably. Mm -hmm. Looks at George, uh. most likely. Uh, <laughs> look. I would never do that. Scout's honor. <laughs> That's very noble of you. That's also not a scout's honor, but okay, yes. Let's, ca let's <laughs> jump past that. Carry Let's on. just ask, George, is there something we can do to help you on your way to surviving? The seconds would be nice. Oh, okay, I can That's ask him to do that. Yes, Nana, please, seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Doles out the seconds. Probably the thirds for Rudy, let's be real. Yeah, yeah. Rudy's never gone for thirds, but this is definitely a thirds occasion. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely interested in the much oh. food you're eating. She can sense. She's got this sixth sense of Why who's still be? fucking hungry. And she's like, you. <laughs> Eat up. <laughs> That's not so of hungry. Of course she does. <laughs> Alright, well that was Nana's piece. She's serving up again, so. <laughs> Figure it out. Uh, aside from food, how, how else can we help you? Uh, how genuine is this offer? Not very. <laughs> <laughs> and Arthur turns around very. Arthur turns around very. I seem to be getting all this, then at least a mixed signals. Well, why don't you tell us what, and then we can decide as a group if we can help. Uh, hands to the hole again. Some, you know, different clothes would be nice. Well, like I said, shopping spree. Let's go. I currently have no clothing I can spare on me, but but you have the money to buy clothes. You don't ask oh, me for the Just for the bonus. Yeah. You know what? Let me um. Like, Arthur, you're I've so. I've got pelts and stuff on me on my toolbox. Can I try and repair the clothes that George currently has? Sure. It might take some time, but definitely doable. W would you like that? Would you Would you like Daskus to help mend some some of your clothing there whilst we're here? I mean, I won't really know the difference, sure. Oh, you'll feel the difference. Oh, okay. Laskos is a very good seam... men seamstress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the real term for seamstress? Taylor, that's it. <laughs> no, a seamstress! I... No, Dusk Goose is a fantastic Dusk Goose is a seamstress. seamstress, and that's fucking valid, okay? I love it. <clears throat> we love it, okay. Moving on. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> uh, so what do I need to roll? Honestly... Uh, Oh god. You just make a dexterity check, but add your proficiency modifier. Okay. I'm jamming to this music. Oh my god. So yeah, that is so good. This tavern has oh, lovely those are music be some today. Snazzy fucking clubs. So you you spend you spend some time. Uh, you you take your coat off. You take uh, like your top shirt off. Duskus gets to work like on uh, one item of clothing at a time, just making patches out of the spare hide and. Uh, fabrics that you have, and you all notice that inside Dasgu's uh, toolbox is just like a pile of patches, different kinds of fabrics and leathers and hides, and a bunch of tools. Because mm. 
Last time Duskus opened this uh, toolbox was just make uh, repairing the one tent while there was still tension in the group. You're all keeping a lookout. But now you actually see Duskus is very deft with his fingers, just getting to work on these clothes. Mm. A few hours pass and you do start, even with your snack, it feels like it's nearing dinner time. We missed oh, yeah. lunch. <laughs> oh, what? Not really. <laughs> Well, I mean, you had lunch, and uh, then yeah. Arthur had yeah. some uh, some had exercise oh, after that. Right. That's you right. Did. You did have lunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. fair. Right. Some ex. Joseph. <laughs> 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 Feels exercise. Extracurricular yeah. activities. <laughs> Not endorsed by the guild. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, George, are you are you getting a bit peckish at all? Do I still have the bowl on me? Uh, not at this point, no. It's oh. been a while you've all been like chit-chatting, talking. It, it's been maybe like two or three hours. Oh, okay, just, thank you. Very small um, talk, I'm guessing. Mm. Yeah, not, and like, at, this, light, at yeah. this point, like your, your main shirt pretty much is like fully patched. It's no longer... Some of the edges have been trimmed, taken in. It's been more fitted and Goose is currently working on your coat. Kind of patting it down. Yeah, I could use some more food. Well, yeah. let's. It's it's basically dinner time. Nana, do do you want to cook or do we want to go up and eat? I think we should take advantage of the lovely buffet we have available to us because what a good way to find. And she starts like going on about like how you can share culture by sharing food and all this good <laughs> stuff. And you're not really listening anymore. But she's really <clears throat> emphatic as she leads the way. <laughs> <laughs> just talking and walking, you just hear yeah, it. Yeah, like, like you can't even hear half of it because she's already like out the door and like, <laughs> oh, no, I really like the blah blah blah. And, yep. and since <laughs> Arthur believes that George is still blind. All right, George, follow my voice. We're going out to oh get. Oh my god, you're not just going to take him by the hand. <laughs> no, no, because last time George didn't like that. George didn't like yeah. that. So Arthur's going to use his voice. And oh, it, that's. It, it, keep, keep, keep following me this way. George Gerald, contemplates just... how he can trip Arthur with his, you know, his quarter staff walking stick without Arthur knowing it was on quarter purpose. Quarter staff oh. walking stick. I already know more than Nana does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I I think make a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Okay. And what do I have to roll? <clears throat> uh, perception. Trip him up, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's perception. Oh. Hey. oh. Nope. You are face planting, oh. sir. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely... <laughs> yep. These things happen. You There's a moment where uh, George is walking through just, like, tapping the stick on the ground and then the stick just happens to appear right in front of your foot <laughs> as you're taking a step and you go just back first down into the ground. Arthur wants to get up and say sorry to George. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got the um, are, you, are you okay? Uh, I'm all right. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. I'm. Uh, I can't get it. <laughs> George, says he, George says he's all right and is just like, like pretends to worry over Arthur, getting brownie <laughs> points while also being the bully. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, it, look, I, I, I apologize to get in your way. Look, I'll, 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 I'll look better next time. Um, <laughs> we, we do have some stairs coming up, so you're going to be all right, obviously, going up the stairs. Do you need me to hold your hand going up at all? I got it. Oh, sweet. Arthur sort of jumps a couple of stairs up, up front just to... I don't want to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> but But I do... <laughs> uh, what, what were you going to say, Rudy? Uh, yeah, so just as everyone's leaving, Sorry, uh, uh, Rudy sort of takes Gerald aside. Gerald, just a quick moment before you mm. before you head out. Yes. Um, and he sort of lingers for a moment, letting the others sort of move a little bit further out of uh, earshot. And he sort of goes, all right, Gerald, look, I understand your hesitation with, with George. Um, I, I'm glad someone does. I, look, I, I, I completely understand, and it, and the fact that they did try to cast a spell on me, uh, again, not even 
trying, not even penetrating. Like I didn't even feel it. It was it was nothing. Like it it didn't even hit me. But I'm thinking. Well, that's good, but it yeah, could have. It could. Well, have. So, <laughs> so, so what I'm considering, because let's look at how either they're lying to us, or they really did make it through like miles upon miles of snow uninterrupted unhindered while blind surely this is someone who has some form of ability that we should keep an eye on oh, there's so many people in these parts with abilities rudy we've we've met a number of them that have been touched by the dragon storm mm. well, i'm just thinking maybe maybe arthur's idea is not Arthur oh, doesn't have an time. idea let's be honest Okay, yes, no, you, you you are correct there. But maybe, you know, let's just feel this one out a little bit more. But keep a close eye on. Well, we're going to have to now, because obviously <laughs> Arthur's not going to let this one go. Oh, no. You know, like how he is when he <clears throat> finds something shiny and new, he latches onto it and shakes it like a chew toy. Uh, this <laughs> is literally shiny. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Literally. And, and my, my consideration Shiny. is that we've we've got a lying, spell-casting thief among us now. How are we going to deal with that? No one wants to answer that question, but I do. I don't want my things taken. This is me trying to help you answer that question. Gerald, calm down. Calm down. I'm worried now. about so many things, Rudy. I don't need and another one. I'm worried one. about the, the bloody food going cold, all right? Just... Let's just... Oh, it's a buffet. They have <laughs> some system for it. I don't know. But what if they stop? Hey, that's not the. That's not the problem. It's here. not the I mean, problem it here. The, the, the food is. It's always going to be there, Rudy. Let's. I'm just thinking. Let's feel this one out. Yes. Okay. We'll feel it out. But and he leans in close. What if she's working for the pallid princess? He. What if? Hey, sorry. What if he's? Aligned against us. <laughs> well, then we'll have to cross that bridge when it comes to it. <sighs> I'm, let's, I'm just going to... Let's just make Arthur take responsibility for everything <laughs> from here oh. on out. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, since, since, I mean... This is, this is his mess. Gone. He can He can have it spilled all over him for all I care I mean, at this point. Every, every time there's going to be an expense, you know, who we're going to turn to now. He can pay for everything. He this can pay is... for everything, that's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not spending a cold, dead cent on this, nope. on this person. No, absolutely not. Oh my I, god, I, I, that's crazy. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Let, let's go, Rudy. As, I can as see as you're Rudy's hungry. Oh, Rudy's actually already three steps up. He's been, like, saying those last words. Oh, right. Been, like, a, yeah. Out the door. I'll, yeah. I'll close the, uh, he is close the, the door behind us and we'll he is the food boy. <laughs> head on up together. As you, as you get up, uh, there is no buffet out, but people are eating. And you can see how the kitchen is going uh, full blow. And there's some staff running around, including oh, a familiar uh, youngish man who's running around, sees you, and immediately sort of, like, uh, one more time. What was his name? I've forgotten. <laughs> Anyone? Uh, Anyone? What was his name? <laughs> the one we tipped really well. Oh, I didn't get his name. I just gave him all my gold. <laughs> <laughs> George well, needs to take notes. Never mind. I, I legitimately never wrote it down. And I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if the DM's forgotten, then I'm. How about you call it Rich AF NPC because that's what you know. <laughs> there you go. His I name is it. his name is Richard. 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 All right. Richard. Yeah, I love, yes. Richard. I love it. Uh, Richard. 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 Richie, uh... Richie. Richie. Yeah. Well, Richard sees all of you, finishes delivering food to one table, and then immediately goes and clears the table, um, like stacks yeah. too many plates in his arms, like nice. grabs a handful of bottles, oh. wipes it down. Like, can barely hold on to the cloth, wipes down, and then just like nods towards the table for oh, all yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, don't remind me of work. <laughs> Hello, George. You're next to me. Uh... Oh, okay, right here. Yeah, this is right. like here. Yeah. This sits this on the wrong side of Arthur. Bad memories. <laughs> yeah. The unfortunate thing about down... Arthur is that he doesn't think there's a wrong side of him. 
Wow. Shots there have been fired. It. Excuse you. <laughs> Did Richard come back? back? Richard Rudy comes has come back from and one. says, uh, what, uh, what, what would you all uh, like to eat? Uh, we do have some... Um, Let's see, we do have some uh, whale steaks. Uh, I think we also might have some leftover mammoth. There's definitely some uh, some burgers left. Um, there's also, we got a very nice veggie stew. And I think that's all they prepped for tonight. It is three silver pieces per meal. And the drinks, five copper for an ale or more ice wine, winks at Arthur. <laughs> How big are the whale sticks? How big? Are the uh, I I can make sure you get the 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 bigger end. Make it two, and we're good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> right. and, uh, and some ale as well. Thank you very much, good sir. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and he takes your orders, and uh, it is three silver pieces for food. Mm hmm. And, uh, and Nana is... wants to get whatever the chef recommends, which is probably, like, whatever the fuck they have the most of, but that's fine. She thinks she's doing a good thing, so that's all that matters. Yeah. The recommended dish, you are served what looks to be, uh, some sort of, um, sweetened, um, oh, what are they called? Beetroots? Like, pickled beetroots? Ooh. Uh, and with a butter <laughs> sauce and what, and... <laughs> 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 anyway, continue. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as, as Richard explains, uh, what is a three-day pepper marinated um, mammoth loin? Ooh. Arthur will have one of those. She, <laughs> I'm sure she'll love it. It was three silver, yeah. And then, uh, yes. And then, how much for ale? Uh, it's five copper for uh, like a tankard of. Of course, we're get. Oh no, we're getting the wine. We're getting the wine. Getting it's the wine a gold for, for a bottle. <laughs> Um, oh, Arthur's gonna get a bottle. Arthur's oh, gonna okay. get a bottle. Nana will have he's, a gonna, he's gonna ask for an extra glass than what's needed for the table. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, of course he is. You <laughs> And Nana turns all grandmotherly to like, to George and goes, And what would you like to eat? Cause I've got this. I'm fucking loaded now. Where's my money? <laughs> 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 there it is. Uh, I will remove what's... six silver, by the way. What is a whale? Giant fish! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You love it! I wish whale was here to save me! Uh, oh, Riley would kill me! She would come marching! I'm going to kill you! God. Somebody clip that, please. We'll send yes. it to Whaley. I'm doing it. Someone Why? said whale is a fish. <laughs> oh my god. If you don't hear from me next week, you'll know why. Yeah. Yep. That is it. I yeah. my body at the back of Whaley's face. <laughs> rest, in, rest in peace, Denny. We are gathered here today to honor and pay tribute. <laughs> Giant <laughs> fish! Denny's <laughs> final words. Final, yeah, it'll be on her tombstone. <laughs> Giant yeah, fish! Oh my god. Giant anyway. fish! Hong Kong, giant fish. <laughs> He says the fish 1992 to 2021. Yeah. <laughs> giant fish. And, and the food is served, uh, and it's it's very hearty. It is like all food is. It's not like oily, but it is fatty. Um. So before Richard runs away, I sort of slip him. Uh. uh I think I'm gonna slip him. Uh. Five silver pieces. Oh my god. Pour a glass of wine and say, can you take that to Madame Tuss for me? Sure can you, do, uh, Mr. Uh, Orblet. And just like pockets the coins. You sneaky little fucker. Walks and, and very sneakily, very sneakily pours the glass. And then looks, sort of like makes a gesture. No sound, but makes a gesture as if like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Walks back towards the kitchen. Disappears into the kitchen. And then comes out. And walks towards Madame Tusk and just puts the glass down on the counter and she looks at it 
And there's there's a moment something is probably said, and then she just gives a little look towards Arthur, but nothing else. The fuck did he do to that wine? I'm about to go slap that out of her hand right the fuck now. <laughs> I want to roll whatever check I need to roll. Insight. I'm sure he was just pretending, like, oh, look, I forgot something. Look, look, Arthur, look, that he's no trust. Arthur. It's, it's, a, it's an insight. I look, look out for my girls! Like to George, because yeah. I kind of want to roll insight if I'm able to, too. George would be curious. He wouldn't say anything, but he's curious. Curious oh, George. No. <laughs> Arthur's gonna do it. I got it. A 13! <laughs> oh, you're fine. A 13. A 13 is still <clears throat> enough. He, he was very exaggerating. It was definitely more of a to not, like, to not oh, incite to... other guests to maybe send stuff to the like the main patron and uh, for arthur's insight similar it's it was mm -hmm. like you you and richard you had an eye connection moment and okay. like a nod and it was very obvious that it still arrived right. and george yeah it this was like super obvious just just like a diversion cool nana will keep her vines to herself then <laughs> <laughs> so for the rest of the dinner Arthur wants to keep looking back at Madame Tuss to see if she's touching the wine at all hey, you don't you don't catch her drinking it but there's one point where you look back and the glass is suddenly gone it's Ooh. just not there Arthur's gonna assume she drank it right, well Gus goes he's gonna be a little bit busy whilst he's having his two whale steaks He's gonna have, he has his glasses on, and a bit of paper out, Aww. and he's getting ready, right? He's like, dearest majesty, swan, swan, nah. my dearest, nah. uh, We need a spinoff just of this, nah, I, I swear to God. No, this right! <laughs> it's okay. I just. Why I'm don't so you tell me what you want to write, and then we'll write it together, all right? Uh, 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 tell uh, me I what just you eat. want to say. I just want to. I want to make sure that, whilst I can't get to her now, that I I I will get to her as soon as I can. But we're just we're just so busy, and uh, I I just want to see her, you know. I know, and you want to make sure everything's all right, and that's okay, and I would like that too. So, as soon as Lena comes and we can finish up business here, let's reconsider and reconvene as a group, and maybe we can we can help your friend, all right? I know it's very important to you, Goosey. Yes. Uh, thank you, Nana. Thank you. Uh, well, I'll, I'll leave the writing till later, but uh, I'll, I'll leave it in the meantime. <laughs> and you all finish your food, and as you're sitting there in, having conversation, enjoying the food, it's it's definitely still tasty, if a bit fatty, very salty, but it's it's well prepared. It's not bad food, and it's starting to calm down in the tavern. Some people leave as if they've just been dinner guests. Some head downstairs towards rooms. And it's starting to calm down. There's maybe a, a third of the patrons still left when uh, the doors are abruptly open. And in steps a very familiar figure. Lena! Oh, Arthur Orblit. What the fuck are you going to tell her? Uh... Oh. Them. Them. I'm sorry. Them. What are you going to tell see... them? Yeah, and you, as you all look over, um, and uh, George doesn't have to turn his head, he already knows who stepped through the door. There is definitely shape, and you see you see s someone come in, look around, sees all of you, like, clocks you immediately, the whole group. Lena starts stomping over. Uh, Madame Tusk does look up towards this figure, and as the figure heads towards you, just back down to your ledger. And Lena steps in. Oh, um, I'm glad I caught all of you. Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been pushing. I might have caused some injuries. I just stressed through. Um, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I know you're uh, right. But it's, it's Sit down, all, have some all been taken care of. I. It's just. Uh, it's. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, but I have. Like. Sounds very winded. We. I, I have. Um, oh, give me a moment. It just grabs uh, one of the tankards of ale and just chugs it all down. Just empties the whole thing. Rudy um, puts a hand on Lena's shoulder and casts Cure Wounds. More of as like a like a warmth than like a rejuvenating effect as opposed to a literally looking to heal any wounds that Lena might have. Sure, sure. Uh, and uh, there's definitely a bit like the, the breathing calms down and not so much as superficial wounds, but definitely some fatigue <laughs> leaves their body. Mm. It just nods at you. Thanks, Rudy. Uh, there's um, the the Midwinter Council um, does have time if you all can just grab your things and uh, looks towards Gerald uh, the collar. Mm, yes. And uh, then looks <clears throat> looks over towards George. <laughs> and there's a moment. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, this is our friend George. Uh, oh, we are not, not, not I... friends. <laughs> this is a thief that Arthur has taken in called George. This is oh, someone thief. named yeah, George. I, I'm aware. I'm aware. This is, uh, <laughs> I've seen your face in the guard posts. Uh, oh, no. Arthur's going to be a little uh, concerned now. Uh, w w w what are you... Now he's what? concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but, but... Uh, and Lena, Lena, Lena says, Lena says no. well, there's there's really no time. Uh, this one is... We'll bring this one along as well. Um, and just, like, puts a hand on George's shoulder. Just, like, pushes <laughs> you down into your chair. And this person is, like... Almost three times the height of George. This is like a giant. <laughs> That's like six times more than height. Juice. <laughs> It's yeah. like this is a big. This is a big person. Reaches out and, and grabs uh, Arthur's shirt and tugs a little, like help. <laughs> <laughs> I just sort of like, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and Lena, Lena looks dead, dead into <laughs> Arthur's eyes and just says, "Just go grab your things." And we'll have to go immediately to get this sorted. The sooner we do, the better. Lena, it's very uh, good to see you. We will grab sure. our things and we will be right uh, with you. I George agree. left some things <clears throat> downstairs as well. Like. No, they didn't, Arthur. Come on. Come on, Arthur. And Rudy's <laughs> now pulling Arthur's arm. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lena, are you right looking after this George fellow for a bit? I'll be fine. Excellent. Let's go. I think we'll go downstairs. Uh, you see, as, you're, as you're all as you're all headed down, uh, you look back. You see that uh, someone, not Richard, another waiter, has just placed like a massive, like pint-sized tankard in front of Lena, who's now sat down and is just having a drink, just sitting there. I I kind of saw say to Rudy on the way down. I'm like, she's uh, George has been. And God tells. Arthur. Arthur, a he's a thief. <laughs> of course he's been in trouble with the law. <laughs> Were you born yesterday? Oh, just... <laughs> just, I, I don't know. I just, I felt like I needed to help George. Is this a normal thing? Like, they pry on your feelings like this? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Nana's hurrying everyone at the same time, though, like, knowing that Lena probably has limited time, so she just kind of goes, Well, I'm sure we can figure it all out when we get back to Lena and George, but for now, we need to grab our things and go, because I think Lena has been through enough tonight. I agree wholeheartedly, Nana. Yeah. <clears throat> and as you're coming back, as you're coming back up, uh, Madam Tusk does, uh, like, do this towards Arthur. George immediately <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then simply says Should I keep the room in your names? Do you plan on returning? Oh do we? Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 
Uh, you know, it would be lovely uh, if, if you would keep it for the night, and then we'll hopefully be able to tell you by uh, the time the meeting ends. I start to tab then, and just like scratches something down in the ledger. Thank you so much. And as you're now coming up, uh, as you all Lodge. come up the stairs, you're talking talking to Madame Tusk. Uh, Lainas stands up and just starts, like, with one hand, no effort, just pulls the chair out with George on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, not, not, the, not the, like, drop you to the ground side, more like oh. pulling you away from the table. <laughs> Do I have enough time to grab my plate and the rest sure. of my food? <laughs> <laughs> grab the food. And they you just says, eat on the way there. Better oh my God. Eat that fast. <laughs> We're leaving. <laughs> Scarf it all down. Love and it. Uh, as you're headed through the city, uh, you start walking. Uh, Lena is just hustling, just power walking forward. Every now and then, having to remember, like, oh, my legs are pretty long. Maybe I should slow down. <laughs> you're <laughs> like, I'm jogging. Nana's suffering! Nana! Come on, Nana! Take it back around, Ted! <laughs> yeah. As you've all grabbed your stuff, you are being led. Um, oh at God. first, you're being led out the tavern uh, and down to the main thoroughfare. You're being led uh, west along the thoroughfare. You reach what looks to be a massive intersection. And Lena keeps looking around to make sure you're all here. And then you're being led towards where you can see uh, a massive, massive manor on top of a hill in front of you. It takes you still like 20 minutes to even get there, but you can see it immediately. There's trees and there's like this massive building. And as you cut through some streets, you arrive at a massive wrought iron gate with just a big M inside of it. And there are guards, like full-sized frost giants. They all seem to, like, even Lena just gets to, like, chest height on these people. Wow. Oh. Oh, and they tall. Yeah. And, Whoa. Uh, you get the feeling that Lena might be on the young side uh, for a frost giant. And, and could one day potentially be as big as these people. Mm, wow. Cool. Uh, but seeing seeing Lena, they immediately open the gate. You're being led through to this massive manor. Mm. It's huge. You're being led. There's more guards at the entrance. So it's just like a, a really big house in a manner of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 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 Such a big manner is because it's made for frost giants, really. Like, it uh. so it's it's actually a normal size manner for them. It's just really big for us. Yeah. Are you trying to salvage my pun? Because it's too late. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to salvage it at all. I just, <laughs> just something I was thinking about. But yes, as you as you get to what seems to be the front entrance, it is indeed massive. The doors, the doors are like uh, twelve feet tall. These are, like, massive doors. And as they are open before you, you're led into what looks to be, like, a, an antechamber of sorts. Uh, it's it's still chilly in here. It doesn't seem to be insulated for heat for any, any apparent reason. It's just, it's still cold. And all the walls are made of stone and ice. And you can see portraits uh, of uh, icy landscapes, of frost giants. You see what looks to be uh, a framed, looks similar to like a cave painting almost. And you're being led through a foyer into a big hall where there's, uh, it looks like definitely some sort of, um, what's the word? Um, <clears throat> there's a long table. It's a big space. There are uh, pews and benches, and then at the front, there's like a long, long, long table with uh, people sitting at it. And there's, you see, some people in the corners of the rooms talking. A few of the chairs at this long table uh, are empty, but in the middle, you see uh, a female frost giant, massive, towering above 
all the others probably would have issues getting through the front door. Uh, completely shaved head with instead very like light blue and white um, tattoos in very tribal angular patterns on the head and just sitting there in uh, what looks to be like a leather tunic of sorts uh, writing on paper talking to people and uh, Lena walks you all forward just straight through and says and and just kneels down. Arthur and follows. We're gonna, we're Arthur gonna take our first break for everyone who needs to. We just yes. gonna do a quick little yes. break. Actually, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I forgot yeah, about breaks. Break. Let's do the thing. Breaks are good. Breaks are <laughs> great. Goose, when, break when you kneel, don't drop Nana or she will I'll cry. Be... <laughs> <laughs> I will be right back. Oh. I'm gonna hydrate. Is this Roger, Ryan you're in charge, Spain? by the way. Ha 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 you fools! This has been my plan all along. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think so, Llama God. I'm not sure what Rhyme of the Frost Maiden is, so I couldn't really for sure tell you yes or no. Um, but uh, I'm guessing no, because I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, lovely to all have you there and here, by the way. Where are we? So, um, we are currently in a archipelago of islands in the deep south and um i'm trying to remember the name of them now there you go because i know the town that we met in was troll hat i forget the name of the um uh of the actual um like island slash continent it's, it's it, this is why it's cold down under because essentially the entire thing is is icy and freezing cold um and it's kind of like and it kind of occupies that space where it's like are, is it a really big island or is it a really small continent you know much like australia hence the cold down under um <clears throat> and yeah so we was just here chasing a lead i can't remember whether we've actually been given the name of this particular icy continent. We probably have, and I just it was one of the things I haven't written down. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe one of the others has it written down. Um, <clears throat> but I think this is mainly, this is mainly homebrew, uh, just so you know. This is the world Josie has made. Um, it's not, uh, like, there, there are some some bits and pieces that have been borrowed from other systems like our pantheon is pathfinder based um and things like that um but the world itself uh is homebrew and um yeah so it's not uh it's not based on any particular modules or things like that so this is an original story um, which is super impressive by the way like mm -hmm. ultra impressive mm. <clears throat> like how detailed it is and and all that sort of guff. Yeah, yeah. Josie is an excellent dungeon mistress, that's right. Mm. Do we think there's going to be a battle this session? No idea. Um, there may be, there may not be. A lot of that sort of depends on us at times. Um, yeah. I sus I, my suspicion, personally, is probably not, is my suspicion, but... Hey, this you, never is, you never know. Like, you absolutely been never a few know. Encounters in the past that could have turned into combat, and we've literally talked our way out of it. Or around yeah, it. yeah. Like it's it's. I think very early on there was that um that fey beast or whatever the not fey beast, spell beast, and 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 we literally just gave it a fish, mm. and it happily went on its way. That's right. Rather than attacking it, you know, it was mm -hmm. it was kind of yeah, like. But that's the cool thing about D&D is like it's not all about the combat like exactly. it's yeah. equal parts role playing combat which I think mm. is great. Yeah. 
I'm a big fan of. About? We're talking about how amazing of a dungeon mistress you are, Josie. Mm. So, mm. there you go. Uh, <laughs> brownie points are always nice. Actual <laughs> brownies will get you well, brownie points with me. Well, if that's the case, yeah. you are the best one I've ever had. <laughs> Which actually, that's not a lie. You are. <laughs> well, then, maybe you wow. should have. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I've had seven different DMs, masters, mistresses, um, and yeah, so wow. far you are the better wow. one. Wow. <laughs> now All we right, know where Arthur gets it is. from. <laughs> Hey, hey, Gouda. Hey, Gouda. Yes? Yes. If you were a different type of cheese, what would you be? <laughs> Brie, so then I can always believe in my friends. Love, Aww. It. <laughs> Love it. That's that's amazing. That so awesome. I would be Munster because that's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's a monster cheese? <laughs> There's a monster. Let me fucking spell it out for you. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a good cheese. Please, yeah, please, Josie, can we start? I can't. Oh, I can't. Looking. My mouse disappeared again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, we, we should start. It, it sounds like it sounds like uh, Aussie Cam Cam and Barrett. Oh my God, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, we will get back into it. I'm just gonna super quick, preemptively, switch camera battery. Ah, oh, that is smart. Yeah, that smart. Yeah, smart. Yeah, smart. it's monster like that. That's the one pasta. But I lost my. I I. So whenever I go to the second monitor, my mouse is no longer a mouse. I just vaguely know where it's supposed to be. It's invisible. So uh, that's, that's gonna be odd. really fun when I try and shut this all down. Invisible That's mouse? Really odd. Invisible mouse. Yeah, look, wow. uh, look, I have a lot of problems on the PC at the moment. <laughs> Most of them are from Google Chrome. Thank you, Google Chrome. This this stream is actually sponsored by just the sheer <laughs> audacity of Google Chrome <laughs> shitting around with my fucking Twitch windows. Thank you. If you're a representative of Google Chrome and you want me to shut up about Google Chrome, please DM me and give me money. <laughs> just, uh, just as a heads up, Cuddly Raptor's thoughts and views on Google do not represent all of us. Google, they please do know. They freak do. out. Uh, if you're listening, uh, I will Google totally Chrome. be a shill if needed. Google, if you give me an endless supply of cookies, though, I can be persuaded to say that nothing bad has ever happened on Twitch and Google Chrome, so. Imagine now getting all of the browser cookies. Just all the ads. Oh, yeah. all those cookies! <laughs> well, Specify well, one well. cookie! Oh, yeah, okay. yeah genie I'm rules. I'm gonna get a monkey's situation. Mm. Back Here into we go. it. You are brought before the Midwinter Council. And you see before you mostly giants towering in size, but you can also see what looks to be a shorter, uh, stockier person, still bigger than all of you, and then you can see what looks to be a single human sitting on the far end of the table. <laughs> Do we recognize this human? I mean, you recognize this person as human? Uh, I was just thinking, Enough. this is a dude that we saw with Lena before. Oh, the one that's like me. Uh, really yeah. annoying. It's not that guy? What? No? Okay. Cool. No. I saw- I, I know what Cuddly is doing, but yeah. yeah. I'm so confused. Um, I'm Arthur confused. would like to bend- <laughs> Oh, you, no, it, this is not Pesty. Okay. Oh yeah, Pesty, that's it, yeah. When he was like, can yeah, I help? And everyone was like, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Please don't. Uh, it, this is- this looks to be an elder man with, uh, like, long- whitish gray hair like and a beard it's neatly trimmed but there's definitely like a salt and pepper beard going on with small little glasses just writing like not paying attention to any of you he is when web. lena kneeled down that's where we pick up mm -hmm. Le kneeled down and said Aunt. Then and we down to their head probably follow so, so does she beckon for us too or not same thing uh, Lena 
doesn't do anything else, just holds the position for a moment. Okay. And you Vasquez can see, do the same. You, yeah, and as you do, you see uh, this uh, bald-headed giant of a woman just looking through some papers, talking to someone on the side, handing the papers over, looking to the other side, and is handed like uh, a few pieces of paper. And then without looking up says, Get up. We do not follow such customs here. It's just for giants. <laughs> you Breeze didn't take a knee. Breeze didn't do a thing. Gerald didn't, but you said, but if you if anyone looked at him, you would have seen like him frozen there with half people standing and half people kneeling, and him yeah. just like being paralyzed with indecision <laughs> and not knowing <laughs> what he should be doing. Oh no! Oh, uh, really? Happened? In utmost confidence, there was no reason to. Fun. And then looks up and says, I am Cartha Midwinter. I am the matron of this fortified settlement, the matriarch. I decide everything and anything. I am the law absolute. looks over the papers at customs you all declared a potentially dangerous item and one looks over another paper does goose and there's a little bit of giggling going on among the giants <laughs> oh they know of me <laughs> your, so your name is spread far and wide <laughs> and whoever laughs at Das Goose I will end them does anyone in the party speak giant? no 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 uh, Gude, you're muted I don't know if that's on purpose sorry no I, I don't know it <laughs> okay <laughs> And uh, then <clears throat> says, uh, "Das Goose was played a uh, place under house arrest with said item. Uh, please bring it forward." Mm. Uh, das Goose brings out the collar and brings it forward and places it on the table. Yeah, and you can just like barely reach. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's like <laughs> always a big table. Oh. I see. Oh, I see. It is a big table. There are like smaller ones around, but no one has made any gestures towards any of them. No, they are all big tables for now. The fact that Goose yeah. could reach that table, <laughs> surely that's impressive. Like, Goose is a big <laughs> human. Well, they, 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 they are, they, they're all sitting down, so it's like. Goose is yeah. like, uh, here we go. Like, when you get to the edge of the table, you can no longer see the face of Katha Midwinter. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> this is fine. Chat fan, glad, make Nana do it. I'm glad, I'm glad Bruce had to do it. <laughs> make Nana do Excuse it. Excuse me? <laughs> Good to see Nana jump. I don't think I he was jumping. Good reach. <laughs> and, and then goes, like, reads through the papers again. And, um, one Gerald uh, has yeah. information about the item. Oh. Yes. <laughs> really sort of like nudges Gerald forward a little bit. Yeah, so. like Ooh. just there's just a lazy look at towards your group, just expectantly, just waiting. Uh yes, what what would you like to, to know about it? Uh Cartha. All of it. Ah, oh very well. Um <laughs> well <clears throat> this is a choker that we uh removed from a mammoth that was attacking us. Um uh, as you can see, it it fastens magically. Um, it, it is a choker that uh, causes one to be compelled to seek out and destroy any creature that is considered an enemy of the Pallid Princess. Um, mm. And it, yes, essentially, unless you can resist its effects when you put it on, um, don't put it on, by the way. Uh, unless you can resist its effects when someone does put it on, um, 
they will be dominated mentally and have no control over their actions further to that. Uh, and, unless they can remove it. Total mind control looks towards the like left, right, left, towards all would be considered uh, dangerous. Yes, and there's like quite. a few nods and some murmuring. And um, just you're all from the Western Shard. What may I ask? What you all doing here? Um, oh, yes, we're after the it says you're, you're affiliated with the Midnight Suns, and it's very rare to see volunteers this far south. I, I agree. Uh, we've been sent here to find and apprehend a, uh, a person of interest uh, wearing an unusual uh, s skull fly mask. It's a bug. And there's <laughs> there's some murmuring at the table. And Kafa just grins a little bit. Um, said individual has already been apprehended, I can assure you. Oh! And is currently um, working their way through, uh, shall we say, 10 years of service in the mines. Well, that makes our job much easier. That, that's excellent to hear are we able to interview them in or any such thing uh that can be arranged definitely it now looks down and there's this this one moment looks at the group and then there's sort of looks down and you can now all see like under the the, the, the desk is like blocked from the forward, like from the front, but there's a tiny bit of space at the very bottom. You can see people's feet almost, and there looks to be someone standing at Kafa's side. Looks down, uh, nods, and says, Well, conveniently enough, uh, if you wanted to, uh, you could be free to go there, and we would even, uh, let's say, Pay for a week of staying at your current lodge if you would um, just like hold her hand. Escort this heinous little cretin and just looks dead at George. Heinous cretin. <laughs> You see, you see, you see now. There's like uh, two human-sized people have come up from behind, and Katha says, uh, "Please search George." Um, hey, hey, I don't I... consent to a search. I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Katha just looks at you and says. This is to make sure that you are not still in possession of the stolen goods reported by our very own Seer Morg, who claims you stole a pouch of gems. George! And Gerald kind of just like slowly turns his head to look at Arthur and sort of raises one eyebrow like, hmm? And... <laughs> Arthur's in I'd say, <laughs> I'd say... <laughs> He's just shocked. <laughs> George, make a sleight of hand if you want to hide the pouch. <laughs> pouch of gems that you definitely have. <laughs> that you may not have. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. They start searching you. We're One of them grabs the staff and just holds it. They, they, they pat you down. They oh look God. you over. They like... <laughs> and then you hands your hands your staff back, and they say, "Matriarch, uh, a few um, knickknacks and items. Uh, nothing that could really pose a threat. Uh, but no, we cannot find uh, the pouch." George looks dis disgruntled. Told you, you had the wrong person. Oh my God. <clears throat> <laughs> I, I sort of now back on George's side and go. Gerald. <laughs> 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 
Nana literally couldn't care less. Like, he's well fed and that's all we cared about. Like, it's fine. <laughs> if he chooses to steal something, that is not between me. That is between him and whoever the fuck he stole from, you know? George, you are Look in after your shit, man. Of course. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> deception check. Here we go. Now, in this is insight. Oh, insight. I'm gonna. <laughs> One moment. So I'm gonna make insight. Oh. Sorry. Insight. Yeah. Uh... Oh, oh, because it's below a nine, my silver tongue comes into play and makes it automatically a ten. Plus <laughs> so proficiencies. That makes, a... that makes it a sixteen total. Arthur's gonna use Whoa. his inspiration. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. Wow. We got... We're going for it. For it. Oh, heck. oh my god. Oh, no. All right. Ah! Nope. Damn. Nope. Not, not it. George. George is heck. innocent. Okay, of course George. George is innocent. I believe you. Um, but why are these people uh, questioning you, so? I don't know. Probably because I looked ragged. And, you know, because he's a thief, and... Arthur. <laughs> people send, tend to, you know, make judgments when you look like me. Well, wear what I wear. <laughs> And then Kasa seems to like <laughs> correct some papers, like very much just like. Oh no! <laughs> so angrily. <laughs> Two pounds of fish, a head of cabbage, a half a sack <laughs> potatoes, um, a jade bracelet. <laughs> just starts going through a list, and at the end says, "George, did I miss anything?" Uh, I plead not guilty. <laughs> George, did you steal all those things? No. <laughs> I, I'd say at this point, it, it's it just like there's a lot, and then and then Katha says, George, if you return the gems, uh, we can lower your sentence. But you're looking at uh, two seasons in the mines. No, thank you. How long is the season? <laughs> Winter never ends, Denny. <laughs> <laughs> it's too oh, long. It's, 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 as long as you want it to be. There's make. winter and there's slightly less winter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Are we well, well, talking then... about winter seasons or are we talking about seasons of The Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> George, you have been sentenced to work in the mines and. Um, the group, I don't know if you refer to yourselves as anything, uh, the volunteers from the Western Shard. If you wish, uh, you can act as George's escort and to the mines, or we can make sure an escort is taken care of, but you are free. I will write a missive that you can show to the mine guards to be let in and speak to the prisoners and takes the paper <laughs> starts writing on it puts like a seal rolls it up seals it again hands it to someone again below the table and you see running around comes this halfling <laughs> this like oh my god oh. Halfling, oh. Halfling, wow. just comes running and this 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 what looks to be just like a paper is almost like as like, wide ass this person. Oh, then, I still want to like... hold on to it. Please give it to Nana. Oh my god. Yes. We'll have just it holds it out and says, it's been it's been mag magically um, guarded against the weather, so don't worry about it. Uh, just uh, bring it along, show it to the, the gatekeepers, and you shall uh, be fine. Yes? <sighs> and then turns around and jogs back. Oh no! <laughs> back yes, and and pushing it in the bag you. of holding... Mm -hmm. She's trying. Nana is trying her best, okay? <laughs> so, Aren't we all? Uh, after a moment, George seems to think about it and like raises his hand. So when you say reduce sentence, how much we talking? <laughs> considering considering the value. The missing pouch of gems holds a value that greatly exceeds everything else you've stolen in total. 
I say if you can bring, if you can present it and all full value, and this will be investigated as your sentence progresses, we could shorten it down to two months. He makes a show of it. Oh, you mean my pretty rock collection? Watch it out, George! Ah, what a surprise, <laughs> says Joe. From, though? Because it, they were padded down so well. You Where do you pull them? I'd be nice to Bruce. And also wearing made rags. A pouch within the rags. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this yeah, is and speechless. What, one of the people from behind Egg comes forth, grabs the pouch, opens it, closes it again, and walks around the table and hands it to one of the people s sitting like at the side who grabs it, opens it, and uh, whispers something and the person runs off again, but the pouch is sitting now on the table. And Katha says, Lena, well done. Your parents will uh, be proud to hear that you've done a good service for the city. But now, if there's nothing else, we've got matters to attend to. Uh, the collar. What What is to be done with the collar? Will it be destroyed? Did you want us to... It will be thoroughly to... investigated by uh, our own tried and approved mages and arcane knowers. And if deemed too dangerous it will be destroyed if it cannot be destroyed by the way we do it will be sealed okay. <clears throat> mm. I, I that's will, a good idea <clears throat> I, I will uh, would like to add that that may not be the only one out there so please do be on the lookout for other beasts or creatures or possibly even humanoids wearing similar I, I fear it may not be a one off and uh, Katha looks over and uh, makes eye contact with another frost giant who looks more more lithe, wearing like a big cloak with a hood up. And you can see the hood has like thick fur on it. And this person has um, a long, unkempt beard and says, We'll uh, make a formal statement, send out to all the guard posts, to the rangers. It will be made known. Thank you. That's for the best. Uh, you, and you, you haven't heard any any other anything else in relation to to this or the Pallid Princess that we should be aware of as well to report back to the guild. And the the head ranger looks back towards Katha, and Katha's just like again correcting some papers. Looks up. No. Oh, all right, all right then. Um, very well. Thank you uh, for your consideration. Yes. Yes, and your lodgings, uh, the Bramble Frost Inn, we will make sure it's paid for um, the week out, at least, as thanks for your services. We do. <laughs> Even though I don't know what your experiences of the city has been so far, we do appreciate well-doers. And we do appreciate work. Work will always be rewarded. And you have made work that means less for us. You brought information that will make it easier. And we appreciate you... your hospitality. Thank you. George, under his breath, I don't. <laughs> 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 and Netta hears this and gives him a little... little Smack on the elbow, and so does and George. Lena, Lena starts ushering <laughs> all of you. <laughs> Lena starts ushering all of you out, and as you well, as you come outside again, Lena says, "The mines are just an hour." Looks at all of you, or two, uh, <laughs> to the south. <laughs> Well, you know that Lena travels, like, way faster than all of you mm. in the snow. Yeah. No, I, I don't like... know what she's getting at. And she's been traveling no, with half of this for a long time, at? right? They. they. I don't know what they're getting at. <clears throat> what are they possibly trying to say about our travel speed or leg size? 
Uh, and Lena starts walking you all out down the hill again, uh, out the gates, and you get to the main thoroughfare again. And uh, Lena points uh, straight down the thoroughfare in the opposite direction you came from and says, If you just head towards the exit, follow the road, you'll get there. And they then just show the missive to the guards. Shouldn't be any problems, really. Is it like so... nighttime now, though? So it, it's wants... like evening. The su you, there's uh... still like slivers of sun at the horizon. Oh yeah. Um. So Arthur is quite um cranky. He <laughs> he, he's gonna get his rope and first bound George. No. <laughs> Whoa. Is is what? Uh uh. Sir, I'm what? not into this. Just what? bound the hands. Uh, do you do you actively resist? Is the question. Yes, and I look at Nana and go, "I'm, he, he, I'm not into this. Help me, help, help." Nana, <laughs> he, has I, I don't... <laughs> he has betrayed my trust. I am unbelievable angry with you, George. I been... Gerald sort of just like looks at Rudy in the meantime and just shares look like no, this guy. I believed in you. I treated you. <sighs> I wanted to help you, but all right, Nana's got you it. Lie. Goes, well, George, I understand that you don't want to be bound. Arthur's feeling very hurt right now, and if you don't want to be uh tied with your wrists you don't have to be but you do have to hold my hand the whole way i can do that the whole way you're not allowed okay. to let go mm -hmm. okay please tell me what is walking in front of arthur can uh, is denny uh is, is nana also going to be on goose's shoulder and then like george has to hold like this <laughs> 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 Oh my god. No, no, Nana will be on the ground. I feel like that would make a little more sense here. Arthur wants to go then to Rudy and uh, Gerald and starts bowing, like, just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should have listened. I'm Arthur, so sorry. Arthur, just, we don't have time for this right now. Uh, is Lena still with us? Sorry, Josie? Uh, yeah, you haven't left yet. Yeah, Lena is still, okay. like, standing there, just waiting. So, Lena, am I right in assuming you won't be accompanying us to the mines? I have to report, uh, I have to go, there's some paperwork, since I did push to get back here quickly, there was an incident, uh, a report has to be filled out, and... Oh, is everyone okay? Is, uh, are you okay? Is... Every, everyone is okay, it was just some, some cases of exhaustion that led to, uh, a person fell ill, but it was... An avoidable mistake. It, it's completely on me. I will be taking full responsibility. Oh, I apologize if our our in, you know involvement in your in your uh, travels. No, is, no, is... Ru Rudy, Rudy, this is more important. It was a dangerous item. I saw what that mammoth was like. Do you, Do you think and... the 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 Midwinter Clan has taken us seriously? I don't know. I'm at the bottom rung in the clan. I really don't know anything. Okay. Mm. Alrighty. Well... Lena, thank you for all your help regardless, mm. and if we can do anything for you, you let us know. Rudy's got really good healing hands. Join us for dinner one night while we're still in the city. <clears throat> well, when you, when you make it back after I've filled out my report and dealt with whatever, um, Consequences might befall me. I can definitely show you around town, or hmm. maybe pull some strings. I have a few favors here and there. Maybe get you some some discounts. Maybe I want a pet Nana. Shopping spree! <laughs> <laughs> They're literally only inviting Goose, aren't they? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. This is only for Goose. They're looking straight at Goose like the whole time. <laughs> As you start making your way down the street, you start walking. It's the main thoroughfare, there's definitely traffic. Um, you're walking through, you're coming down, it takes a while. 
You do eventually pass by as you're reaching the gates. You see one building that is just the front of it is just made out of ice. And it's like an open, like just three section walls and the, the fourth is just open towards the street. And there's uh, what looks to be a counter and there's uh, a frost giant standing at this massive black metal anvil and currently is holding some sort of there's like uh, they've got like a massive glove on uh, and is holding on to what looks to be uh, a piece of blue ice just holding it with this giant glove and the other hand is holding what looks to be a staff of some kind and the staff is just shooting gouts of like pressured fire at this piece of ice this thing's really it, safe. Wow. <laughs> there it is. It is a, a, a bit ways into the shop, and you can also see, like, on the wall is hanging what looks to be a, a shield made out of metal, but it's inlaid with pieces of ice. And you see what looks to be, like, it looks like a chain mail, but made out of ice. Huh. And just, like, a few items that, like, all the hilts and handles seem to be made of some sort of metal or uh, leather, and then, like, the blades are made of ice. You see an axe, a dagger. Ooh, You're wow. passing by. Nice. Do we, uh, do we want to have do a we, look? Do we, do we, or do we take note for later and come back with po Lena's possible discount? Yes, that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Nana definitely pokes her head in. She's interested, but, uh... Get, yeah, skin? I'd say, uh... Uh, if the giant happens to look up, Nana will offer a friendly wave. If not, uh, she's not going to disturb them from their work. So. Unless yeah, we it... should. Oh my god, indecision. Should we? <laughs> I'm, I mean, if we're gonna be, we're gonna be here for Nana, a week. your cuddly's showing. Trudy <laughs> 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 puts reassuring hands on, on Nana's shoulder and goes, Nana will have plenty of time, but right now it is night. We need to head to the mines to see if this person really is who we're looking for. And I'm pretty sure if we don't get George to the mines within the next couple of hours, we too will be facing some jail. Uh, some no, mines. no, take your time. I'm in no rush. <laughs> you are in a rush, George. <laughs> Arthur Angie. Mm. <laughs> I still right. poked the eyes on Arthur. <laughs> I think and next, next you, next you pass by a large building made out of stone and wood, and uh, a few pieces of ice here and there. There's a thatch roof, uh, and uh, there's a lot of foot traffic coming in and out of this house. It's just like it looks like a big barracks of some kind, but it's like even bigger, and there's just a lot of people coming and going. And a bunch of them, you see, there's there's a line of people, like, a lot of foot traffic coming through the gate into the city, go into this house. And then out of the house come people that then pour into the street and start walking into the city. Is but Josie going... telling us all this because she's made such an amazing world, or is she telling us this because we're supposed to go in there? <laughs> this feels I, like, I, this I, is like I, restocking before I the battle. I literally just... <laughs> I literally just typed to my chat. I love all these distractions that Josie is throwing at us as we walk. <laughs> Josie, please! Hello. Look, it's because you are passing by them. I'm presenting yeah. them yeah. as options. This is this is a TTRPG. It's all up to you what you want to do. If you want to go there now, that's fine. If you want to go there later, that's fine. Arthur it's wants simply... To go there. I'm just telling as you pass by, as you're seeing specific landmarks. Uh, can I look in through the windows a little bit and see what's inside? <laughs> I, I mean, sure, if you want to. Uh, you you see listening. what looks to be just like, looks to be, um, as you look in through one window, you just see people sitting again. There's been a lot of this in this city, but you see people sitting at desks with paperwork. And the people filing in from the gate seem to be handing over some paper. They get a stamp or a signature. They get the paper back, and then they then walk out of the building. It's just a customs. Let's keep Ugh, moving. That's boring. bureaucracy. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. Admin. <laughs> hey, do you know how much paperwork comes with a dead body when you prepare it? 
Oh my god, you, you, so first you gotta Rudy. get the signature from the families. Wait, oh what? What? Did John <laughs> come out? Oh, oh, Let's okay, just sorry. get George into the mines and be done with him. I agree, Gerald. <clears throat> and you eventually I, I thought you were my the friend. Gift. Was. <laughs> Oh. Friendship with George now over best friend is now Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> but as you as you make it through the gates, uh, there's some people coming through, um, and you're you're going the other ways, and there's some other people also. You see ahead of you, like a good hundred feet, two hundred feet ahead, there's another cluster of people who's headed south. And as you're going through, some guards just look at you, keep an eye out, There's, you start walking, and you just follow like a beaten path, footpath, towards the mountain. As the sun is letting its last rays of sun across the sky, the, you can still see uh, the silhouette of the mountain, and you're headed straight towards it. Well, that's a relief. And an hour passes, two hour passes, and when you're nearing the third hour, you finally start getting to an incline. And you, you start trudging upwards. And you eventually reach what looks to be a landing uh, with uh, a, a little hut. Well, I say a little, but it's giant-sized hut. <laughs> and you, you, can see, uh, you can see two people. And you haven't, like, the last cluster of people you saw coming through were just at the gates. You you have seen people ahead of you towards going towards the mines, uh, but you haven't met anyone since you started walking. And as you're coming through, there's a, a giant just standing at the entrance, and it's carved out of ice. You can see this entire tunnel is ice. And there's a giant just furrows their brow and says, uh, you don't look like workers. I mean, the shift's really over. <laughs> what? And you all look a bit too... Uh, dressed up to be, you know, sweating out inside. What's happening here? George shuffles behind <clears throat> Nana. Uh, uh, George is taller than Nana. We've got a, we've got a couple Squats of... Squats a little. Squats a little. <laughs> We've got a couple of items of business uh, here. Uh, Nana, okay. could you give him the giant log sheet? Oh, yes, of course. And she, Nana gives George's hand to Arthur to hold, and you no, don't dare Arthur, argue. Arthur, <laughs> hold Arthur's this! Arthur's squeezing the hand. Fizz! <laughs> Fizz! <laughs> Making sure you do not run. Nana's, wow. like, fiddling with the, you know, hey, like... Nana, let me help you. Hey. Oh, thank you, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> we, Just this falls is on the ground. Oh, this, this is heavier and than the, the giant giant takes it. Yeah, it's it's pretty hefty. It's basically like a rolled up yoga mat. It, it, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Rudy's, Rudy's a little embarrassed. That he fell over with this now. And well, that's okay. It was like, stuck in it, there, you know. <laughs> and um, the giant takes it, opens it up, starts reading. It looks a bit like. So you're going inside? Oh, okay. yes, if we're allowed. And, uh... Just okay. those guys, not me. Uh, I'll be oh, here. George here that you're coming to work. Too. Actually work. Yes, this... Um, oh, no, this, that's uh, another person. My name's not George. This is I'm absolutely Jeffrey. George. 100%. <laughs> okay. Well, I will... Looks... Looks like towards the entrance. Looks at the paper. Looks at all of you. There was a ruckus inside a little while ago. Uh, oh, then we I definitely there, should go in there. There we might have been a cave in further in. Just be careful. But the foreman should definitely be not too far in inside. Keeps looking in, like to, towards the distance and at all of you. Yeah, no. Uh, sure. Pockets the note and says, "Just head on inside." You... Uh, what what uh, should we tell the foreman? Uh, and will... is is everyone all right in there? Do you need? Well, assistance? It, the, if you if you've been let in, I mean, sure you can bring the note to the foreman as well. And just hands it back. But to what Rudy. about this one? And uh, Rudy points at George. Shouldn't we hand 
Who George do we Arvinson. hand the prisoner over to? Authorities? The foreman's inside, as I said. It's it's really not a prison. It's just you're, you have to work a set amount of hours within a set time, and you will just be given minimum living. It's 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 not that bad. I had to work for a season, and uh, it's... Oh, you hear that, George? It's not that bad. You'll be fine. I heard minimal living. My aspirations are living, living. <laughs> well, you should have thought of that before you took... The you see, I saw that they were gems. A they were gem. rocks. <laughs> that <laughs> sound shiny when you jangle them. All right, I know you jangled them. Sound shiny. Yes, jangly. <laughs> shiny. Nana's pulling on George's like... hand. We're going in. We're going in. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur hasn't let go of the hand, by the way. Oh, Ru oh so we're just like. The, the by the way. We're, we're yeah, like yeah. double, like both of us are holding <laughs> yeah. on to George's hand. Yes. I'm a toddler in the parking lot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, are your feet dragging as well? Like you're not yes. anymore. You're just letting them drag. <laughs> As you come inside, uh, the, the tunnel made out of ice, you can see every now and then uh, there's like a sconce uh, with some lighting coming through it. And any spellcaster in here would notice that this is magical. But it's it's very sparsely placed and it seems like the ice walls are doing most of the refracting of light to keep everything lit. Hmm. It's, it's, it's very efficient looking and there's even like traces of the ice having been carved to create more uh reflections to, to just good. maximize the use of light hmm. hey. and you come through and there's a point where it's just very quiet even though it's arthur's just... angry he goes hello 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 oh hello, hello it just <laughs> echoes it just, it just echoes through the tunnel <laughs> no 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 goose they just said there could have been a cave in no loud noises oh, guys wasn't there just a group of people ahead of us like hmm. only minutes ago we should be able to hear them and you keep walking and there's a fork in the road where you can either head through this uh larger path that you're on or there's like a little bit of a turn to the right hmm. I mean, maybe this is back. like a, an office am i back can, i'm back yeah. you're back can, can, welcome back did, did we welcome back. can arthur look at the floor to determine which one seems to be more traveled sure make a survival check <laughs> it's an easy check Oh, well, 20? <laughs> uh, definitely the one that you're on. Arthur sort of points, this seems to be the most travelled this way. Yeah, but if all the workers are going that way and only the guards are going the other way, yeah, of course it would be the one more travelled. Well, hmm. surely we just follow the main path here, no? Well, let, that's what I'm assuming. Okay. We'll run into right. some sort of guard eventually. Hmm. Remember, we're looking for the foreman, not just another Joe bloke. Who doesn't really know what's going on? We need this in this tunnel is like 15, 20 feet wide and tall enough for a giant to walk comfortably. Oh, hmm. oh we lost Cuddly. Now we lost oh, the Cuddly. Cuddly. Now we'll... oh, oh, she's back. Oh, she's back. Sorry. That was quick. I, I had lost you all and I was afraid. <laughs> I, I feared but, but for my life. But were you petrified? But were you petrified? No. You know what? Mm -hmm. I wasn't even afraid because Nana ain't scared of shit. Anyway. Mm -hmm. As you keep sure. walking through the tunnel, uh, you eventually spot uh, someone who's just sitting against the wall. Just in the middle of the tunnel, this this one person who's just sitting. A giant or a... It looks like a giant. Hmm. Arthur uh, drags George. <laughs> to the Which giant. means you also George make a shell of like as falling you, As you get... <laughs> As you get close, you can see that the eyes are wide open, the mouth is ajar, and there's a massive laceration across the person's chest. Oh. oh. Rudy, Arthur Rudy. covers George's eyes, forgetting that George is blind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Amazing. Rudy, <laughs> this one is wounded. Check on, check on them. Uh, Rudy, I Rudy, think Rudy, 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 checks, Rudy checks for a pulse. No pulse. Guys, he's uh, already dead. Oh, oh shit. no! What? What? Looking do we think? further ahead, you see what looks to be two medium-sized, your own-sized humanoid figures just laying on the ground. 
and there's oh, like no. blood splatter all over the tunnels. Oh, and this guy is all Jordy, just in case. What do we want? Ghost chat me all night or holding my hands? Yeah, Aren't still, still holding your hand? I'm still holding your hand. Oh, dang it. Nana's okay. just not. <laughs> Nana's not. Right. Nana, Here's... Nana dropped you like you were hot. Chris is um, getting ready with his axe. Like, uh, uh, no. is the giant dead, dead, or dying dead? Dead, dead. Gerald. Nothing uh, can be done. No pulse. And unfortunately, and he, I did not have the, the foresight to prepare uh, the uh, mentally to, to revive the dead or speak with the dead today. Oh, dear. I don't like and this at all. The, the two bodies ahead uh, look vaguely like two of the people from the party that were ahead of you. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, Nana's going to check on them, and I'm guessing they're dead as well. Be, be careful, How? Nana. You, you run up, and, what, and one of them looks like it's been nearly completely bisected at, like, below the ribcage. Whoa. Oh. The That's other the other one, the, the other one looks like curled up almost like in a stiff fetal position and has like um pustules and boils around the eyes and the mouth oh, guys no. don't touch the bodies i think just don't george, touch the bodies. george look uh, away just look away george the, uh, would it, would it... which way <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's right <laughs> oh no this this all looks like it's a bad time uh, I, I feel like we should warn the the, the fellow outside, should we not? Uh, um, Arthur, you can hear two voices further on ahead. Uh, I, I, I relay that. Look, I can hear voices ahead. Uh, I can't say if they're friendly or foe, but I can hear them. I can hear the muffled, muffledness. There's definitely... Mm -hmm. It's like uh, the echoes, the distance of the echo has distorted, distorted the actual words. Do they sound panicked? Oh, uh, look, I, I can't quite tell, but um, look, if there's, there's people alive and there's, there's this sort of danger, don't we have a responsibility to, to help? Mm. No, right. we have a responsibility to find our quarry and get. In which case, I agree with both Gerald and Arthur. We will find, I mean, it's too much of a coincidence. We know who we seek is in here, and now this is going on? Well, we hope that they're still in here. Hmm. I think maybe it is the time for action. And, and Rudy looks at Arthur. Arthur, you cannot fight one-handed. What are we going to do? Should we... Leave me outside. I, I think this is too dangerous for me. I can't even see what you guys are wanting me to look at. Like, you sh I'll just wait well, outside. You, you can definitely tell there's dead bodies all oh, around. I, I know, but <laughs> I know. Uh, quiet, George. Uh, the should we should we tell them? Should we tell the the one outside that there's something going on down here? They, we need reinforcements for this. Surely, he didn't seem concerned say... at all. Arthur would know that you're probably closer to these voices than you would be to the exit. Uh, how far for, how how long have we been traveling? You've been down? walking for like a, a handful of minutes, like two three minutes. Mm. Mm. Uh, look, look, these people don't sound that far away, um, and you know they are closer. I mean, if we can have one person run up and tell the guard what's going on, whilst the rest of us start heading down, yeah, and they just bad. meet up. Uh, I I'll mean, I, I'll jump I on my broom it. and I'll fly up there. How about that? Why don't you that, take George with idea. you? Hell no. <laughs> I'll go. I'm fine with going. Let's Quiet, go. George. The adults are speaking. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> All right. The non-thieves are talking right now. now <laughs> look, I'll jet I'll up there really quick. Fly up there with you... the, on his broom. Notify the guard what's going on. We'll yes, head there. and then I'll come back down straight away. Much as I don't want to, but again, I will come back. Arthur, we do not have time to babysit. The situation has changed. It's out of our hands. Arthur pulls his bow out and tells mm. George, stick close, otherwise. Yeah, look, um, Gerald fishes around in his bag and uh, tosses Arthur the uh, pair of manacles 
that uh, mm -hmm. that he has. Look, if it's do use those if you need to, but I, I'm going to go war warn them what's going on. And, oh, well, use what? Use and what? With that, oh. I jump on my broom and <laughs> take off. Take off as fast as is broomily possible to broomily. to ward uh, to ward. Um, and also I, use, I, will, but yeah. I, w I will say that like at at first uh, you can't quite go like full speed because you've been flying out in the open. Now you're inside a tunnel. It takes mm. a moment to readjust to like. At least it's a very tall tunnel. <laughs> it, it is, and you can definitely go like the full speed. But I'll say to get to the guard, you can't dash action. Okay. You can't like double speed it. Cool. That that's all I want to point out because you 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 have to readjust to to flying in a somewhat <laughs> constricted space. Pizza time. <laughs> Did you bring it for everyone this time? Yes, we brought pizza for everyone this for time. For everyone. Is that extra? What? Oh. No. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Not even for Get me. Get out of here. Boo. <laughs> I have pizza rolls I can share. <laughs> share with the class. Share with the class. I hope you guys like pineapple on pizza. Heck yeah. Okay, yeah. Hell yes. I've never tried it before. I am willing to try it. But I love it. what are the rest of you all doing as Gerald takes off? Um, uh, Dusk is just charging down. Sorry. Oh, charge! Oh, no, no! That, I'm not charging, Gerald, but I'm, like, rushing down. Gerald, you do hear a whisper in your ear that says, Are you sure about this? Mm. Uh, in, in, uh, Infernal... Abyssal. Abyssal, I assume, yes. Um, and I, I whisper back, I'm never sure about very much at all, uh, actually. <laughs> and then we skip to the others, and you're... What are y'all doing? Uh, uh, Gerald has taken off. We should go cautiously, but it sounds yeah. like Goose is not going cautiously, so this might be already fucked. Um, which is great. I love I mean, Does it. Goose immediately start to charge? Because the charge is an action. Well, not charge, just rush. Rush down. Okay, okay, okay so we're okay. going... Nana's going more quietly, but it's. I think it's a little late for that if Goose is already running. Oh! So, oh. How close is Nana to George? How close is Nana to George? Uh, probably not at all. Cause like grab her I'm... hand before the manacles could be put on. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, 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 the manacles are being put on. Yeah, oh, I think no, 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 by the body. Time to do that because it was a use if needed, not a use now. How long does it take to put on? Uh, not long at all. Rudy turns to Arthur closed. and goes, Arthur, <laughs> I the handcuffs. Gerald, uh, George's. I and... see a battle map coming out, but I really want to. However. It would be morally wrong to put someone in chains if good. there is a beast and Rudy points to the bisected body. Who can do that? Yeah. He's got a point, you know. I agree with the smart dude. Quiet you. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur sort of turns around to Rudy and goes, sorry, my judgment is just so clouded over this whole thing. I understand. I, I was very invested in George and George, you why could, why did you make me fall Arthur, for you? Now is not the time. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You fell? When did you fall? You. <laughs> so George, don't make me regret telling you not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're all talking. The dusk is charged off like ahead. You're all talking as you're moving to. along. Yeah. And I will say, start hearing the voices. The voices get clearer and clearer. And um, you eventually hear just someone who says, Stop complaining, will ya? And another voice that goes, Do you realize that I had to work myself filthy in these mines for a week before you showed up? Eh, hard work will do you good. Now she should be here any moment. And at Dusk Goose, as you come up, you arrive here. <laughs> you see, oh. imagine that the outsides of the map are ice walls. The inside <laughs> is a massive shaft straight down. Okay. Oh. Oh, but so like not a pillar, up. like just a big pit. 
Yeah. It's like a chasm. Like it's like this is a mine shaft. It goes down, and you can see, see levels downward. Yeah. You see mm. two figures on the other side that are currently arguing. Ooh. And as the rest of you all, except for Gerald, yep. catch up, you start catching up. You hear a voice behind all of you. Oh. Oh. All of a sudden. Where at the very back, the people standing at the far back just hear a, <laughs> and you smell sulfur. And we're gonna go in a quick break. Uh, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. I didn't need to scream that though. I'm sorry. <laughs> we all needed to know. Mm -hmm. I will run away for a second as well. Mm. Go for it. <laughs> I'll be back. So I'm going to take this opportunity to use the facilities as well. Be Go for right it. back. Your last chance. <laughs> Your last chance you'll ever get. Yeah. If there's anyone in any chat who has questions about the game or the characters, we could do those now. Feel free. If there's if there's yeah. anyone, remember to also give the players points. If you got uh, some channel points. I'd like to add to that. There are two streamers who don't have their thing active right now, so I couldn't put points in. Yeah, I just used mine, so I have to restart it. I believe oh, okay. it was Cuddly and Denny that I couldn't give points to. Uh, oh? Because I tried at the start of stream to give you all points. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh, viewer rewards. I'm pretty sure I've got one up. I'm pretty sure I've got it up. I'm what? pretty sure you do because you were the only one I could because oh. Roju and Ozzy or not Ozzy, uh, Orby haven't used hadn't used theirs at that time. So Ozzy uh, and Joseph were the only up. two. I could. Yeah, I've got mine up, but it's not um it was it needs to be extended, so it's not actually active. Uh, okay. That there we go. Uh, I just extended it. There we go. Um, so, thank Gitta, you. Gitta, you made <laughs> Arthur very very sad. I didn't make Arthur anything. Arthur was way too <laughs> invested in George. Technically, Arthur doesn't know George has lied to him. No, he doesn't. Um, except the fact that, you know, this overwhelming evidence of the giant saying, prove all this, and then, you know, but the bag George of gems. But George can't see. The and George said pretty rock collection. George, uh, Arthur doesn't buy it. How do you... <laughs> Just, but... Arthur doesn't buy it. Why Arthur would you buys think... a lot of things. Not that. Uh, <laughs> why would you think if you look at a gym and you look at a rock, some are the exact same looking or feeling rather. This is true. It just happens to be the same ones that were missing though. Well, you no also... one else, no one else knows, but there were actual rocks in the pouch as well. <laughs> <laughs> Before you leave, also, they didn't find it searching him, so maybe that wasn't even the right pouch. It could have really just been Pretty Rocks. It could have been Pretty Rocks. Arthur doesn't know! Arthur doesn't know! Arthur doesn't know! Hello! Arthur doesn't know, I can't hurt him. Much. I just, I just can't believe that we're about to bind someone and we're about to go into combat. Oh my fucking god! I, I was just... <laughs> uh, oh, I, oh, I was gonna am... use the walking stick card. I'm am guys... trying to turn the map because of the angle. I'm going to turn the map around. Okay. Turn around. <laughs> Thank you for yeah, the welcome we, back. When we come back in, when we come back in come back. When we come back in, we're going to start with uh, Gerald. Very good. Mm, because we have split the party. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did. Mm -hmm. I will take no responsibility about what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You've got an extra hand down there. <laughs> and I'll... I'll... I mean, the broom of flying base speed's 50 anyway, so it's fast. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I didn't know that. I thought it was the same speed as us. Okay. Oh, no, it's very that, fast. That makes sense. That makes it's, sense. It's quick. Okay. Right, I have right, fed right. the good girl. Okay. 
we're just uh, when everyone's back, we're getting into it. Now you can see pretty much the entire map. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. If we were oh, only, like, okay. a I see. Or two so we're down, on that side. They're on this side. Yeah, I, I had to. I flipped the map to give you better visibility. So you're you're all over in this end, mm. and all of this inside is just a pit down. This as well, over here, is also a pit down. So you can see across all of this. But but the outside, imagine, are walls. Hey, are they Joseph? two separate pits? Or is that a bridge that's connecting two sides uh, together? It, it's just that the wall ends here. Like, the, the, there's a pit that goes like okay. this. Okay, yeah. Okay. Josie, just out of sheer, because, like, not that I'm going to use it or anything, but just because, <laughs> because I'm really super curious, and, like, I love learning lore, especially about my own character. How well does Spider Climb work on uh, ice? What does Spider Climb say? Pretty sure you stick to anything. Let me see. Well, if you stick to anything, then... One willing creature to you it. touch. Across, down, vertical, down, along ceilings while leaving its hands free. So, Nana could just fucking frog walk right over the I will the say there's the also <laughs> the, same, the same area that you've got. It's like it goes upwards for like a long way. Like, you can see now that you've come in, there are levels to this mine. And you're just, just on one of them. Just, just think tactically, Cuddly. Would climbing into the pit where you would no longer have your arms or legs free... Uh, you have your arms, and you have your arms free. Th they are free. <clears throat> Alright, so would climbing into the pit make you more or less of a target and harder or easier to maneuver? No, I just meant like sneaky wise, because I don't think they've thrust. seen us yet. But I uh, was just wondering, you know, like they, as they, a... they totally have not aren't going to see us the second we. Act. But I'm pretty sure they've everyone... already seen. <laughs> are we are we gonna get into this? Let's yeah, go. yeah, let's fucking do it. Mm. Oh Ooh. my god. Let's go. Gerald, yes. you arrive at the exit. Whoosh. <clears throat> Zooming on your broom. Uh you shoot out of the en of the entrance, you loop back around, and the guard looks at you kind of surprised. Like visibly just like Um Uh yes. You there, what's your name? Uh uh, my, uh, Hava? Hava, there's been an incident down there. There are people dead and possibly okay. uh, possibly villains of some kind at large. Uh, raise, you need to raise the alarm and call for reinforcements. Uh, okay, are you going back in? I'm going back in there to help my friends. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll make sure uh, we, we said send, friends, send work. Said friends. I'll send word to the city, uh, but it could still take some time before anyone gets here. But I'll I'll make sure to send word. Hurry! Time is of the essence. Yes. And just like standing there, nodding, like looking frazzled. Less standing, you. more moving. Uh, yes. It goes into <laughs> into the the little building on the side. Oh, that. Okay. Shoot. Shoot. Back down. Mammoth cavalry. And, and as you start shooting down again, you can now you now feel comfortable enough that if this is just a straight corridor, you could just zoom through. Nice. All of you. You heard you heard a sound behind you, and a smell of sulfur and decay. And you hear a voice that says. Well, well, well. What do we have here? And as you all turn around, you see before you a shorter than most of you, uh, but still standing at a uh, maybe, let's say, a five foot six height. Seems pretty tall. You see before you <laughs> long <laughs> bone-colored hair. Horns that go from just above the ears straight up. Also bone-white. The skin is pale and pulled taut, and the eyes lack iris. They are just white with black pupils. 
but she still looks drop dead gorgeous. And she's wearing blue and red robes, and on her back you see what looks to be like skeletal leathery wings. What? She says, now isn't this deja vu? Let's see. We've got a human cleric, an elf, a gnome, and a... Well, you're no half-orc, but you're a you are a man looking for this dust goose. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, you guys want oh. some space? <laughs> like, you found an admirer. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Definitely oh. remind me of some people I know. Let me tell you. And then looks, sees George, and is like, Curious, what are you? Curious! <laughs> And you then see, for a brief moment, it. this this beautiful figure just twitches her neck ever so slightly. Like, and you can see her lips curl back and seem to fuse with her gums. And there's a voice that says, Get on with it, bitch! And then she oh. just looks back. Uh, still there. Still there. Now, if you don't mind, I have business to attend to. And she disappears into a puff of smoke. And you then hear from the other side. There you are. We've been waiting. And as you all look over, she's now on the other side with these two people. Of course she heckin' is. Oh. Did we and get a good look at her? Does she, she have a collar on? Uh, make a perception check. Oh, 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 was it like long enough that yeah, I could have even made? Um, yeah. uh, 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 there we go. Oop, come on, Nana. I think we can... I mean, we could all probably give it a go, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you might want to. Sure. Man, I, I'd please. say, Arthur, who has the high passive perception, you did not see one. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't think I would see enough to... Uh, uh, 22. Uh, Nana, <laughs> Nana, unsure. Uh, hmm. Rudy? Nope. How far Nothing. away? Wait, why didn't it... Who's show? Definitely uh, they are... Oh. They are... Uh, Far away enough that George, you can sure. hear them, but you cannot tell any features. Uh oh. Okay. Wait, why did that show up? I missed half of that because all my sound lagged. I am so Ooh. sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's it's fine. Uh, but this figure on the other side says, "Well, let's get this over with." Um, and you do have an audience, and points towards all of you. At the other God side of the <laughs> uh, knowing the you see... other way, yeah? Arthur ways. <laughs> way. <laughs> and you see turning around, you see a stout, rotund figure, like in thick layered black leathers, and has a very like uh, a top only plague doctor mask. Like with the Ooh. beak and the like okay. the goggles, but the mouth is free and says, Well, 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 never mind those. I've got important matters to attend to. I assume you can deal with this. And looks, and you see next to this person, you see a long, wearing like a sleeveless leather duster, thick arms, holding what looks to be a double bladed scythe turning around, long matted, dirty blonde hair, you see someone wearing a mask with a skull on it. <gasps> does it Bingo. look like a bug, Josie? Does it look like uh, a bug? You, you, it does look like a bug with a skull on it. <gasps> yes! We found him! We found him! We've literally been going for five months! And, you hear, and you hear a voice that says, <laughs> I wouldn't mind some back up, but yeah, I can deal with them. And then the rotund man says, well, fine. And then op grabs a book from a holster, opens it up, starts flipping through, rips out a page, hands it over and says, it's a feisty one, but I'll think you'll enjoy it. H gives it over, turns over towards the, the winged woman and says, well, as you can see, the target is not here, 
we need to look elsewhere and regroup. And she replies, I can see that you have failed in your task and never dare speak above me again. And she grabs him oh. and you can hear him starting to choke out. And then they both disappear oh. in a puff of oh, smoke. Dang. Oh, like, damn. Mad, res mad respect for her, though. Like, At mm. this point, damn. Gerald appears way in the back, <laughs> coming through with the broom. Clutching his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Clutching your hat. Yes. You see, this person now, with the scythe, steps up towards the edge of the capstan, looks at this piece of paper and says, You're all getting in my way. And then throws the paper out, and as it falls down, sails down into the chasm. It disappears out of sight, and then... Green, blue energy starts spreading forward. Uh -oh. And you hear, uh -oh. from in the chasm, you hear... <sighs> And out of the hole, with oh. twitching stalks, you see a massive creature with oh. just one oh, no. eye. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, Didn't Josie tell us this was a bad thing? Oh no! Yes. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! I should have stopped As... that paper. <laughs> As this creature comes up, you can see it has oh, no. some eye stalks broken off. It looks like it's halfway through decay. Its mouth hangs open. <laughs> and the main eye is milky white. As it turns towards oh, the, the humanoid with the scythe who says, <sighs> Let's feast. Everyone, roll initiative. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I swear to fucking God, Nana, if you roll low initiative, I'm going to boot your ass. I just want to say, <gasps> we are so <laughs> fucking lucky um, that that is not an actual alive beholder because we would be yes. so oh, How is yeah. your initiative? Well, uh, 2.5. Nana, please. You know, Nana, I please. don't know. Wait, what? Wait. No. Yeah, that's you got a fourteen for George. Nana is eleven. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I just Why like Gerald's is two point five. Oh, two point yeah. one five. Two point one five. <laughs> I have no idea. I rolled a one. Uh, I can tell Wait, you that much. What? <laughs> no. Oh, Gerald, so please. let me. I want to hear one at a time. Goose, what did Goose get? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. What did Gerald get? One. Three. <laughs> Three. Uh, George, fourteen. If I recall. Yes. Uh, Rudy. Six. Nana got an eleven. Eleven. Arth yes. Arthur. Ten. We are terrible at initiative, just FYI. <laughs> we are terrible. <laughs> Let's feast, the masked man says, and starts running across the ledge. Oh, that I thought he meant just straight across the air, and I was like, <laughs> and is then starts running through, keeping an eye on you all as they're running through. Holds out a hand, and you can see this pale blue energy streaks out towards. Uh, let's see, who do we have here? Uh, towards Rudy. It's always Rudy, man. They always try to take out the healer. It's always, it's always Rudy. It's a six, 16 to hit. Uh, yeah, that would hit. 16 yeah. Should have had hit. bark skin. God damn it. Oh no. Uh, wouldn't have helped this time. I rolled very high, I will point out. Uh, you Ooh. take 21 points of radiant damage. Whoa. Oh. Okay, that. Unexpected. All right, cool. That's a big okay. hit. As you are hit by what you immediately recognize as a guiding bolt. And I've you seen start bigger. just, you <laughs> start, there's like this, this pale blue energy now gathered around you. 
Ooh. Okay, that's not dissipating. That's... And hmm. then... Maybe I haven't seen bigger. At running, throwing this energy, see that you are still standing after being hit. This person stomps a foot into the ground, grabs the scythe with both hands and screams, Aah! and goes into a rage. Whoa. Mm, interesting. Okay. And it is then Goose, your go. Well, Goose would like to follow in kind with a rage of his own. <laughs> yeah. Honk. Gains that rage and frenzy. And he would like to take out the Gale Axe. Yeah. Oh. Um, I want to try and move as close along the edge as possible to our friend with the scythe. What's your movement? Oh, uh, 40 feet. You can get here. Okay. You are 15 feet away from the other person. I would, let me, um, I just want to double check. I would like to use the command Bolst to gather wind, try and push him off the ledge. Ooh. And it, does it require you an action to activate it? Um, as an action, yeah. Yeah. So as an action, it's simply, uh, at first you hold up the axe, and you can feel wind start to gathering around the axe. And that's all that happens for now. The action is to activate it, and then for one minute, the effect persists. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I will get that ready. Yeah. So you, nice. you hold out the hand axe, and you can start feeling the wind whipping around you and around the axe. And it's now glowing with a, uh, with a light green energy. Uh, we have the Beholder. No! No! And it is going no. to... Oh, God. You, you said all of its eye stalks were broken, right, Josie? Just no. every single See, one of them? Some, 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 Gerald. I'm sure no, all of them, please. <laughs> it, for, for some reason, it target, targets Gerald. <laughs> no! <laughs> it knows! It knows! And uh, I'm going to roll, and it shoot you with... Array, I need you to make oh, heck. a wisdom saving throw. Oh, heck. All right. Oh. <clears throat> As it turns around. <clears throat> you know, I'm going one, to... One of the eyes just instinctively turns towards Gerald and shoots... Gerald. Yeah, I'm using my inspiration for this one. <laughs> yeah. So let's just uh, use that, shall we? Boop. That's... Better, oh, but you know, I have two. fourteen. So is fourteen, exactly what you needed. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. So you get um, hit by this one ray, and for a moment, <sighs> all of your fears, your Thank you, chat, for the inspiration. <laughs> it just starts welling up within you. You fear the, you you feel the fear gripping you, your very core. But there's a moment where you feel like, uh, not quite there, but you're like 99% fear. I feel fear all the time. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I'm you're, you're still hanging on. Uh, George, it's your turn. Yes. Um, how much can George perceive? Because the beholder, uh, most you of can... this would be out of 20 feet, right? It is. The beholder is 35 feet away. Ah, oh, 35, are you kidding me? All right, I can move forward, it's fine. You, you can hear it, but it's, you definitely can't tell anything else. Okay. And after George Nanites, your go. Cool. I am going to... <sighs> Rudy's within distance of me, You're... I know he's hurt, yes? Yeah, he's he's within five feet. I'm gonna cast healing word on him because his survival might be my survival chance. Another oh. heal! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go for it. Oh my I God. wanna know what is we what would die. George say as a healing word. Don't die! I need you! <laughs> <laughs> roll Just roll a... for healing I word. Love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Excellent. That, that's a good. That's a good heal. That's points. a good heal. Yeah. So George, George just turns at you, yells at you to not die, and uh, <laughs> it works. It works. What, you don't like, die. 
I didn't do that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm better than I thought. <laughs> Freaking room. You, Wait, you still George, have movement. You, you still have movement action. Um. But you cannot cast a spell. Only cantrips. Yes. Um. I'm going to stand behind someone that looks like a meat. Genual meat shape shield. of a meat shield. Mm. That would have well, been me, but I'm well. That like... would have been you, yeah. Yeah, you could yeah. back off behind Arthur. You could ah, like, yes, step up my and friend. Just hide behind Arthur. <laughs> my friend, the meat shield. Yes, I hide behind Arthur. <laughs> <my friend. laughs> Baby. And any, anything for your action? Um. You can do cantrips or think... anything else. I don't think I really can at this distance. Okay. Not that I would want to use yet. Okay. If you feel ready, we're going to Nana, and after Nana, it's your Rudy. Oh my god, okay. Nana, where are you doing? Okay, well, first of all, Nana's moving at five feet, so we're in 30 distance range. Right to the edge, baby, right to the edge. We going. <laughs> uh, you uh... are actually, you were one step ahead, so you were technically at the edge of 30. You are now 25 feet away. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I would like to <laughs> cast blindness on the thing. The uh, I don't know what it's called. Oh. I can't remember. Beholder. It's got a lot of eyes. It Beholder. Needs to not yeah. See. Beholder. Yes, that yeah, one. But Na Nana, Eyes Nana probably Beholder. doesn't know. Uh, I don't think Nana's mm. ever seen one before, uh, so it needs a constitution save of 14 to not get blinded. On save 14. Let's see what we get. I get a 20. Ooh. Well, that was unfortunate, so you but shoot, that's okay. You shoot, this, you shoot out with this magic, you try to cover its eyes, but there are just so many that your magic gets too thinly spread and just doesn't seem to really affect it. This is okay. We've got a backup. It's called, we're pulling out the thorn whip. So this is <laughs> a at will thing, and it's just, uh, it's not like an action. It's just to get it ready for the next time. Okay. So, uh, it, so I think it's coming from the spoon. Wait, you were doing thorn whip? Yeah. Well, well not and as like, uh, it is, yes, it's a cantrip, but I don't think I can hit with it. Or can I? Because I think Thorn Whip is that you just whip out. What does it oh, say? Oh, it does! Yeah, no, it is. I'm sorry. It's not from the spoon. It's, uh, you create a long, vine-like whip covered in thorns that lashes out at your command toward a creature in range, which is 30 feet. Um, make a melee spell attack against the target. Okay, so they'll take 1d6 of damage. So I need to roll... If you hit it. Yeah, if I hit it. Um... I think that's it. Yeah. So just make a. So I can actually use it. I don't have to like get it ready first. Exactly. Okay. If, it's, we go if it says it. it's just a bonus action. Uh. Because if it's a full action, you've already used your action. Oh no no no! It's one action. So we'll we'll save that for next time. Uh, okay. Do you want to do anything with your bonus action? Um. I don't think. No, I don't think so. I think I'm already sort of where I should be, so... Yeah. Rudy. Yeah. And uh, last after Rudy is Gerald. Yeah. Um, Rudy, as a free action, would yell out to the rest of the party, uh, Nana, Arthur, Gerald, take care of that thing. Uh, I'll back up Goose. Um, and uh, and then can... Would it, would it... Would studying the Beholder to see if it has a collar... Would that be an action? An actual action? It, or... it How would be a full action, of a holder. Yes. <laughs> okay. It, uh, it would be a full carefully, action. Carefully, okay? <laughs> carefully, Roju. <you. laughs> like, like, so it's like in the middle and then in that on case, the edge. It's the forbidden in that spaghetti case, and meatballs. He would run up uh, sort of behind Goose, um, knowing that none of the others can really sort of like get What's your movement speed? Uh, 30. 30 feet. You can get here with, uh, yep. with your that's fine. That's okay. Excuse hasn't taken a hit yet. Um, nope. And uh, and he's going to cast... Oh god, scroll wheel, work me. God. Give him a taste Mama. of his own medicine. <laughs> he's gonna cast... <clears throat> uh, he's gonna cast Bless on Goose. You can't target more than one. Yeah, it uh, does sorry. give you three targets. It does. So oh, he's wow. going to cast Bless on Goose, Arthur, 
and wait, sorry, is Arthur and Gerald wouldn't be, but is Arthur and Nell everyone is within? Uh, it's it's only jo Gerald who isn't. Only Gerald. Okay, so he would cast Bless on Goose, Nana, and Arthur. Um, mm -hmm. So you guys all get essentially whenever you make a, an attack roll or a saving roll throw for the next one minute, you get to add a d4 uh, nice. to your roll. That's cool. real nice. All right, that is very nice. So, very nice. Yeah. And, yeah. Any, I feel anything blessed. For, uh, anything for bonus action? Uh, no, but I just want to say, normally when Rudy casts a spell, you feel this little warm sort of, you know, tingly feeling most of the time. Uh, you don't feel that this time. You just feel this, it's, it's a bit colder. It's a little bit colder. Mm -hmm. But then again, the air around you is cold. You might have just not realized it. Um, you might have just missed it. That's all. Yep. Gerald, you're up. Mm -hmm. After Rudy takes off, start, throws his spell out, and heading towards Goose. All right, uh, take take out the beholder. He says, "Gerald, I no said, worries." Take out that thing, that thing. I didn't say beholder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would I? Would I actually know what it is? By the way, like, would Gerald know what it is? Um, maybe. You know what? What is your Arcana bonus? Uh, plus seven. Uh, no. Okay. You 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 would need uh you you have theories what this is, mm -hmm. but you would need to take uh, proper time to really figure out what it is. But sure. you, you you feel like you've read something. You know there are multi-eyed creatures of, of all varying sorts. All right, take out the forbidden meatball. He says. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> the floating meatball. Perfect. <laughs> um. Uh. Let me see pages through a spell book for a second mm, uh, well nothing for it then um, as a bonus action I will cast hex on it yep and hex says uh, I place a curse on the creature that I can see within range so I'll need to get within 90 feet of him uh, and then until the spell ends I deal an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to the target whenever I hit it with an attack uh, also, I can choose one ability when I cast the spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen what? ability. Wouldn't it be mm -hmm. bad to cast necrotic power onto a necrotic creature? We don't know it's necrotic. We don't know. I don't know. Go that. the insight no here. <laughs> so, <laughs> no one's are it. No one's no one looking at it. Um. So, ability checks. Um. Because I don't think it wasn't saving throws, was it? it was just ability checks uh, made with the chosen ability. Yeah, um, I guess I'm trying to think of any ability checks that might actually be useful in this. Maybe just strength, just in okay. case Goose wants to wrestle it. I don't know. Yep. Uh, <laughs> wrestle the beholder. Hex. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, and there are. Fiery chains appear around this beholder as you hex it. Like, and then chains um, nice. encircle it. Yeah. And then with my action, I will cast. Um, we'll give it. We'll give it the old scorching ray. I think. And um, hex is a, a feature and not a spell. Uh, hex is a. Uh, it, it is a spell that you cast as a bonus action yes but you can only do a spell per turn uh, right right yes, right right you can only do right. one spell no matter how many actions you have you're limited to one spell ah well uh cantrip then right eldritch blast mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. oh, there so we go the old faithful the old faithful i, old knew faithful. It. I love it uh that's a give 23 to, to hit it definitely hits yes uh, and a delicious uh, six damage from the blast. Yeah, yeah. And then an extra d6 of necrotic, mm. which is a total of ten damage. You do have the two beams with your eldritch blast, I believe. Oh, heck, you're right. I can do two of them now. Does Hex yeah. say once per turn or any attack you make? Any attack you make. But that was the second one was a one. So. <laughs> you, you 
hold out your hand. You shoot one blast. It hits at, at, at the edge of the main eye, and it makes the beholder start spinning in the air, and your second blast <laughs> is just missed. And it starts around. <laughs> 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 <Not nice. laughs> Still being held by the spectral chains, though, it is now the masked individual's turn. If you, Unless Gerald wants to move. I think I haven't uh, had a turn yet. Oh! Did we hop over you? We did, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to fly out to be uh, in between Nana and Rudy. How high? Um, I'm gonna be... Uh, how high is it from the from the path to the ceiling? Thirty feet until you re reach what seems to be the like, like the next tier of the mine shaft. Okay. Um, well then, I'll I'll be about I would say twenty feet above the ground. And then Gerald is off the map. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Gerald. Yep, Gerald is off the map. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Gerald. It was fun. <laughs> uh, we will then go How's to the Arthur. Uh, Arthur is going to take one, two, three, four, five steps to the right. This way? Uh, Wait, what way? Too I, much I, 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 uh, more towards the wall, not towards everyone else. Uh, yeah, one, yeah, that two, way. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Arthur is going to pull out uh, Arthur's going to use his longbow yep with the longbow he's just going to just attack it nothing okay. crazy using, using just your normal nope. arrows 15 does uh, hit make sure, oh okay never mind yeah. because remember you get the plus uh, 4 uh, the plus mm, d4 mm, good d4 yeah. no. does 8 piercing damage does eight piercing damage. First shot, as it's spinning through the air, you run up and you fire an arrow and you catch it like inside the mouth as it's spinning. Oh, yeah. And it's just going. Oh. <laughs> nice. Second arrow. Second arrow, flying now. Oh. Okay. Oh, your, roll your d4. Roll your d4. Uh, oh, get out. Uh, D4 coming up. That's there he is. Roll. Ooh. Uh, you shoot the second arrow, and you sh you you go to hit it, and it sort of seems to bounce off one of the hard bone-like protrusions on this boulder, and the arrow skids away and hits the eyes just ten feet above Dusku, who gets some like snow ch like ice chunks on your head. <laughs> You um, anything for bonus action? You do have from your feet a special bonus action. Yes, yes, from my feet. Um, I can uh, a deal additional. No. No. Uh, if you go to your bonus action section. Then I shot one bonus action. Yes. Yes. Whenever you take the attack action to attack with a bow, you can use your bonus action and make additional. Yeah, I'm doing that. Um, Normal uh, arrows still? Uh, well, this time I'm going to use one of my uh, special arrows. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Special um, arrows. Yes, so. Oh, first, yeah, you did get those. That's right. I'm going to try and land an attack on it first, which. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. 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 I'll do it. <laughs> Um, and then what is my equipment? What does that do? For it's it's just uh, normal additional damage. A D yeah. one D six. Okay. So you pull out the one of special arrows. You quickly yank the cover off the tip, and you load it and you shoot. An additional okay. eight points of piercing damage and one point one. of cold damage. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing the extra little D, like the other little rolls you're doing. Oh, yeah, I just don't see them. I, I don't, I don't know. I I see them pop up because mm. I've got the into beyond open. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I don't know why. So it's you probably shoot one, it's a custom roll. twice, 
third arrow again strikes at, like in in its head, and the, you can see around where the arrow embeds itself, frost starts forming. Oh yes. yes. Now, on the other hand, it is the masked individual's turn. This individual well, is going. This individual is going to just step up against Das Goose, <laughs> raise the scythe, and just go in for two attacks. First attack is a 16 to hit. That does hit. Does hit. Uh, let's see. We get. Remember, Goose, if you're cut in half, I can't put you back together. Just <laughs> Yes, we can. I've got vines. We'll vine. <laughs> You'll be vine, did you, you say? Take, first up, first up, you take 12 points of slashing damage, halved to 6 because you're raging. Ah, excellent. So 6. But you then take an additional. Uh, you take an additional. 14 points of necrotic damage as the cut the scythe makes in you, it just starts seeping. You see, looking down at yourself, you can see the it starts forming boils and scabs oh. and sores are just growing out of your wound. Oh. Ah. Oh, no. oh, no. Why? Second oh, I attack. Fix that. I fix that. Second attack. I got stop fixing things! Rudy's a cleric! Let Rudy fix the things! I don't think it fix that. <laughs> no, I'm that I have a nature healing spirit now, too, so... Oh, my God. Oh, Goose, I think I, think I could fix George that for you. <laughs> we don't need you, George Rudy! Fix that. Maybe there's George a reason Rudy... Oh, my God. I, I, I will I, say, the, the second attack coming is a natural one. So as whoa. the scythe comes in, you hold up the Galax, and there seems to be the the scythe can't even connect. There's there's a barrier of wind as you parry with the axe. Ooh, nice. nice. Yes. And it is it is now your turn, Goose. All right. Well, Goose will go in for an attack with the Gale axe, hoping mm -hmm. to try and use some of that wind to also push him off the cliff. Uh, you you it doesn't have a push effect. The axe oh, okay. itself. So you could, but you could definitely do a shove action if you want to try to just like eat this person off. Oh my god! Yeah. Please just eat him. I want to go for that. <laughs> that is yeah. his aim. He's tr trying to get this guy off the cliff. Athletics check. Athletics. If you, you have advantage because you are raging. <laughs> <laughs> I have plus six for athletics too. Yep, yeah, go for it. All right. It's not bad. Nineteen. Nineteen. You do have advantage. Cause you're raging, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm raging. Let's go. Twenty. Nice. Twenty. You go. You you with your free hand. You grab this person and try to pull them towards the edge, taking a step closer to the edge yourself. This person slams their foot down and uses the scythe as a lever against the ground and is holding fast. Oh, Ooh. shoot. That counts as having used one of your attacks, so you could still do a normal attack if you wanted. All right, yeah, I, I still got my great axe in hand. I'm going to try and get a shot in at his side. Hey, does Goose dual-wielding dual axes? Well, I will say the Gale Axe is one-handed, but to use the great... You're, okay, you attack with the Gale Axe. Yeah, yeah, with the axe that I've got in hand, the little one. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, 19 definitely hits. You do 7 slashing damage, plus uh, how much is your rage damage? Oh, um, sorry, where do I check that? Uh, it should be on your rage. <laughs> should be 2 or 3. Oh, plus 2. Plus two, so nine points of da slashing damage. And you see this person flexes their muscles as the axe hit, and your blow doesn't seem to impact quite as hard as you want. Uh, okay. <clears throat> you just flex off an attack. <laughs> it's, it's barbarian, all barbarian. Wish Sorry. I could do that. Just like, yeah. Have yeah, been. yeah you, still have, you still have bonus action. Oh. Um, I'm not too sure what to do for a bonus action. I guess it's well, grace. Your frenzied rage, so you could attack again. Let's go! 
Uh, another Gale Axe to the side. Yeah. that another go. Uh, roll the d4. 11? Roll the d4. Yeah, you are well. blessed. You are blessed. Oh, yes. Roll the d4. Yeah. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Rudy actually playing the support role for a change. <laughs> Two, you go, you go in, and this time, uh, spinning the scythe around as it comes back out, just knocks the axe away. <gasps> oh shoot! And, like out of my uh, hand, or just not hitting it? No, like fr from hitting, it just like, parries you away. Uh, and uh, it is then the beholder's turn, and it is going to simply just find a target. It is going for Arthur. Oh fucking it rules. turns towards <laughs> Arthur. Yay, me shield! Sp spinning in the air, God. arrows sticking oh, out of it, burning no. chains enveloping it. It just turns towards Arthur. One of the eye stalks starts twitching and fires away at you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. You are blessed. Oh so yeah, the default. So what does that equal? It's not going to be enough. An 11 will not oh. cut it. You are hit. You're hit by an orange ray. Oh. And you feel your knees buckling. Your sweat is pouring down. You are terrified of this creature. Oof. You are frightened for one minute, but you may repeat the throw at the end of your turn. It is then going to move towards Arthur, slowly oh, hovering towards you. He wants to eat you. <laughs> and George, not, not. your go, <laughs> followed by Nana. Knees weak, arms heavy, forbidden spaghetti. Nana, I got a spaghetti on me. All right. You can now, you can now perceive the beholder. I can perceive the beholder. It just came in range. You finally got a sense of <laughs> what this creature is. I'm gonna put the beholder to sleep. Oh, please. Hey. Go, go ahead and try. I'm gonna cast it at level three. Go for it. <laughs> Did it work? So, uh, at level three, I believe you get to roll 9d8, and you need to exceed its current hit points to make it go to sleep. All right. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, pressure's on. How do I do more than one? I don't know. I just do them in. So I, I click it multiple times. If you have if you have physical dice, <laughs> feel free to use those. Okay, I have more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> mm, well, it must be nice to have physical dice. <laughs> it's okay, Cuddly. I'll let you share mine. Yay! Stop, oh, Daddy. <laughs> you will I like it to show off my dice that much. I have to find the D8. Okay, one. Ooh, what Three. you got there? These are my dice. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Four. Stainless steel D6s. Five. Six. <laughs> I have to open up the new dice. <laughs> or you could just roll, roll multiple times. Okay, Let's make okay, sure thank you, you. roll the total of nine. A total of nine. <laughs> total of nine. Okay, I have six right here. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to pan the camera so you guys see it too? No, go for no, it. No, we trust. We trust you. All right, six, six, five, two, six, four. So that's ten. Fifteen. Fifteen plus twelve is twenty-seven. So mm -hmm. twenty-nine in the first six. Yeah, and then three more. Mm -hmm. Which is a five, one, and seven. I already lost count of the first half. Uh, so you have 20, 30, 35, 42? 42. 42? 42. 42. Yeah. 42. Uh, what does your sleep spell look like? Um. Very pretty interpretive dancing. Okay, perfect. You start <laughs> dancing. You see, you see one, one <laughs> ice dog turns towards you, then two ice dogs turns towards you. <laughs> and the whole beholder, it starts like bobbing in the air and then shakes itself and keeps heading towards Arthur. God damn it. 
It's a good right. try, though. It was a good try. That was, that was good. Solid yeah. effort. I, I will say you you could have gotten there. It was within uh, range if you rolled high enough. Ooh. Oh. Tell me it wasn't the one that. <laughs> was <it> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it would have just been the one dice, I would have been like, damn it. <laughs> Anything else? You got movement and bonus action. Um. I am. Come to meet Shield. I'm considering it. <laughs> You know what? I am gonna go to the meat shield, and for my cantrip, I'm going to put a uh, put a uh, blade ward on him. Oh. Hmm? So you run up to Arthur and you put blade ward that says. Uh, I extend your hand and trace the signal of warning on the air until the end of my next turn. You have resist. Er, Arthur has resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, and uh, damage dealt by weapons attacks, which probably won't do much against the Beholder, but just in case. I think Blade Ward just might be self only. Is it? Mm, I've uh, got it. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, Target range self. area self. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's all. Alright, then I yeah. put it on myself. It's also an action. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Because you're, you're already, already, you're already, you're already cast out. sleep. You trace a sigil, put a hand on Arthur, and then around yourself, this ward appears. And as an added bonus, I say, you're protected. <laughs> Arthur wow. wants to believe he's protected, but he's unsure. <laughs> Arthur's not sure of anything. Is he not terrified of Nana. literally everything in existence right now? Uh, it is Nana's go. Yeah, it's Nana's go. go okay, Nana. let's I can do this. Um, Nana is, Nana is, uh, let me just find it real quick. Nana is conjuring two giant vultures. <laughs> two of them. Two of oh. them. Okay, I, don't, I don't have scene. tokens right here. That's okay. That's okay. I'll but imagine. Where do you want to place them? I'll make, uh, I'll put down some plates. For um, they are going to be flying together because they like company. Apparently, they get pack tactics. Yes, one of my one of my chat has like the all the animals open. Um, nice. So, so they're gonna go uh, just kind of know hover. I want to know what size they are. Are they large size? Uh, yes, they are giant. They are. They are. So they're. I only get two of them, but they're like level yes, one. But but I, that's not what I want to know. I, I know they're called giant vultures, but what are their actual size increments? And rank. Are they considered large? Their rank is one. Um, I don't know what that means for... It does not say. Okay. On my Cutlass sheet, please. Cat. <laughs> Cutlass Cutlass Cat. Cat. What size oh, they are is a large giant beast. vulture? Yes. It, they are Thank large. You. Where do you want them? Where do you want them? I want them to kind of hover in front of the beholder and sort of like protect those two and just get in its way. Like, you know, like this? <clears throat> yeah. You know what okay, vultures like here. doing as well? Eating Vomiting dead people! Eating dead things. Oh, they fucking do. These yeah. vultures. Hey, look at this beholder. Today. And they get this this beholder is a whole snack. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you know what? This meatball is no longer forbidden. Oh yeah, we finally it got some creatures for which it is not. We are eating this meatball today. <laughs> super quick, super quick. Unless we we got to power through, we got to get to the end of the round before we can wrap up. Uh, how do you summon these vultures? You throw some old meat into the air. Yes, yes. I've got some like stuff that was gonna be made for stew, but probably a little passes because it's fiery day. And I chuck it up, and one of them like they swoop and they grab it. They just kind of materialize and go ah, and like that's not what a vulture sounds Perfect. like. Don't don't quote me on that. But <laughs> how do they sound, Cuddly? No, no, no. I think how it do was they sound like that? Rawr? No. Cuddly Raptor twenty twenty one. Right. Right. You. I need you to roll the initiative for the vultures. Yeah. So that's just d twenties for each one. Yeah. I don't know what they have. It's plus to dexterity. Oh, which I think was, uh... I wouldn't know. 14? Well, I got, yeah, I got a 14. And I think, did they move together like the Panthers? Yes. Okay, yes. so that's fine. They're, I just want to know if they have any dexterity modifiers. I don't know, Mick, do they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be great if you could pull out these uh, stat blocks yourself when you're gonna summon things. 
It would be great, but, but luckily, uh, they're all behind. Luckily, I way. have the monster manual in my yeah. face right yeah. now. Yes. It would be great if if they weren't behind paywalls. They don't have any dexterity bonuses. So. Uh, Giant Vulture, no. They are at 14, which means they move after George. They won't yeah. get a turn I will this round. write a thing of that. Mm -hmm. Rem remind me afterwards, Cuddly. I'll show you how you can put it on your sheet. Even if yes. you but want for it now, to if you wanna, do you wanna uh -huh. move? Uh, yeah, it's uh, because it's it's connected to our campaign and there's content in our campaign. Oh, okay. So we'll get to it. But you wanna move anywhere, or are you happy where you're staying? And do you have any bonus actions? Uh, I do not have any bonus. Uh, no, I'm pretty happy with where I am. Yep. No, no bonus actions. Okay. Uh, Arthur. You Not are them. terrified of the Beholder. You may not go closer to it, and you have advantage on any attack rolls as long as you can see it. Hmm. Well, I have advantage on it. Dang. Because I was actually yeah. thinking. Disadvantage, yeah. Oh, disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. All right. Now that makes it easier. Because, disadvantage um... to, on any attack rolls as long as you can see it. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually summon a beast. Oh, Whoa. knowing that um, I can see uh, Nana's birds have come to the sky. Good I'm call. gonna gonna um, do a a flyby beastial spirit. Okay, what spell is this? Summon beast. Okay, and what are you summoning? Okay, it's. Do, 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 do. Okay, I have no idea what that spell does. You'll have to tell me. Basically, I get to choose either um, ground, uh, land, air, or water. The creature mm -hmm. resembles the animal of your choice that is native to the chosen environment, which in terms okay. of the traits the starts of the blocks. The creature uh, disappears after hitting zero. The creature is an ally into your companions and in combat. Uh, it shares your initiative counter, but it does... But it does take its turn immediately after yours. It obeys veil commands um, by me. Mm -hmm. um, it also gains um, pack tactics. Um, this, this initiative board is starting to get really, really <laughs> sick. It, it gets um, multi attack. Um, okay. And the beast doesn't provoke yeah. any opportunity to attack when it flies out of enemy's reach. Okay, uh, and are you doing anything for bonus action movement? Ooh, he, he's gonna go... <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is then the summoned creature's turn. Well, doesn't Arthur get to break, try attempt to break the... Yeah, make, make another rest of the uh, And you do get you the do, plus You are still well. blessed. Uh, yes, still you are still blessed. Also. 14. That's a save. You're the no save longer scared. Hey! Yes. hey. If, that, if that's, a, that's the case, then I want to play it off that I was, he was never scared in the first place. <laughs> okay, sure. sure. No one okay. believes it, but I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, it is your, it is your, summoned, your summoned creature becomes a giant white owl. Ooh. That is awesome. Does it say what CR, <laughs> does it, say what CR it has to be? Uh, 11. No. What? No. <laughs> C. What did you say? C R. I thought you said A C. Um, C R. C R. What does C R mean? Okay. Challenge do rating. you have actual stats for whatever you summon? Uh, yeah. It comes up. Beastial okay. spirit. Small beast. Okay. Then feel yeah. free. Do you do the thing. It's the beast's turn, and then Rudy, and then Gerald, and then we'll have to wrap up. All right. Uh, he's gonna go for uh, uh, a what they call a, a, a maul. Um, weapon attack, your spell. How do I roll that? That does not seem like right. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, uh, first time I've actually tried using this. Um, um, it doesn't actually have a hit attack thing on it, so how do I do that then? You'll uh, have to make the math in your head and then roll the appropriate dice. Yes, yeah, so you can roll those little <laughs> dice down in that left-hand corner. For, for the future, we should all vow to pre-read our spells and abilities. 
All right, so D20 to hit. Yes, plus any modifiers. Yeah, that's have. not going to hit. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. okay. It doesn't hit. It tries to okay. come down and get it with its claws and does not. It does not. Uh, Rudy, your go. Uh, yeah, Rudy will uh, sidle up to Goose's backside. Um, mm -hmm. as this combo seems to work so well. Um, <clears throat> although he is keeping an eye on the figure that is in front of Goose. Yeah. Uh, it, is, it is also too tight for you to get past Goose of course. at this point. Yeah, that's fine. That's alright. Uh, Rudy has no intention of going past Goose at this point. Uh, and he is going to cast a... Because Goose took a pretty sizable hit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, earlier. 20 damage. Yeah, that's a sizable hit. That's, that's um, nothing. Walk that's, it off. That's spicy. <laughs> A spicy meat meatball. So he's going to he's going to cast a <laughs> level. <laughs> he's going to cast a second level cure wounds for Goose, mm -hmm. um, which is going to heal him for fourteen. Ah, oh, lovely. Thank you. So there you go. But this time again, the heal is different. So Josie mentioned before that the, the the slash, the necrotic damage, did all that those pustules and boils and and scabs and and stuff. Um, and uh, instead of just like cleansing that wound and knitting itself together, uh, the boils and pustules and scabs increase in speed, and it's like the wound heals naturally at a super fast rate. But it's very disturbing. But then, like in a flash, it's gone. Um, that that is how the heal that. Uh, works. For, uh... And. Um... That's gonna sound like the feel of that one. <laughs> I need to not get hit. But it was it was it was <laughs> in your imagination, Goose. It really you have no yeah. idea if it was real or not. Um mm -hmm. and then as a It's all in your head. <laughs> um It's all a dream. Rude gaslights the party. Totally a dream. <laughs> Toast my goats. <laughs> Anything else? I mean there's so many heels now. Why doesn't Rudy get a little weird? Uh <laughs> doesn't really have too much else he can do um you know what as a bit of fun he, well fun he fun. he's going to use uh uh, th uh thaumatagi as a cantrip mm -hmm. and yep. he's got and he's going to uh he's going to make the ground underneath the dude rumble harmlessly for a couple of seconds <laughs> because <laughs> he's got he's got my like, uh, like yeah, he's got nothing else to do. That's. I mean, that's... that can like make him lose his ba um, balance. Uh, maybe. it's harmless. Nah. It says harmless oh, okay. specifically. He, he notices it, but it's harmless. <laughs> the ground starts shaking a little bit. There's a little bit of tremor. Uh, I'm actually gonna. It's a distraction. Uh, yeah. This mm. the person seems to like angle their head down towards it, but not paying any paying any great attention. Uh, Gerald. Yes. Um, all right. This this spicy meatball is going to get a whole lot spicier. Hopefully, I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. <clears throat> At big level. It's a, it's a quality ray. Um, there's going to be four of them that uh, yep. it's going to have to contend with. So, uh, ray number one will be a twenty three to hit. Definitely hits. All right. So the first ray does eight fire damage, and mm -hmm. the uh, plus the one d six necrotic, so it takes an additional two from the hex. Yep. The uh, ray number two. Pew. Thirteen. To hit. Not hit. Ooh, goes slightly Second awry. Second goes wide and slams into the eyes below the beholder. Damn. Uh, 22 should Third. hit, though. That hits. All right. So that one does a... Oops. This music is just... Shut up, kids. That can't be right. Mm -hmm. Only three? Is it two? Why can't okay. it be right? It's 2d6. No. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's three fire damage, and then Hex pops again. Hex pop the weasel. That's only <laughs> a two, two necrotic damage. Yep, and final. And then the final ray. ray. Come on, give me a good one. That's not a good one. That's only a twelve to hit. No, we'll not hit. Two of four hits. You shoot these rays out. 
on your broom. It starts Damn. wiggling. The recoil might be too much to deal with mm, when you're mm. midair on a broom. But also you do concentrating deal a total on this hex now as well. Yeah, you do deal a total of 15 damage, which isn't. It, it's not bad. Look, two out of four passing grade. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Fifty percent is still a passing grade. Uh, sure, sure. Anything for bonus action and nope, uh, nope, um, nope, and nope. You're staying put. So we move to the top of the round. The masked man just takes a deep breath and gets the scythe ready, and we'll pick up there next. Ah! I will be taking a picture of my initiative board of the map. That's <laughs> <stupid. laughs> there's a lot here. There's, there's, there's a lot. There's, there's more working. than more oh than my God. There's a lot going on. Mm. Uh, I like the lot. initiative board. At mm. least I didn't summon like eight flying snakes. I was thinking about it. <laughs> we, we were thinking about it, and then we're like, nah, we should get picked off. Yeah, I, think, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna get a bird. I'm like, nah, don't worry. And then you're like, I'm ringing out birds. I'm like, fuck. I'm it. a trendsetter, baby. <laughs> Real yeah, I'm, I have. I'm ringing out my bird. I have better birds. Birdie, birdie. I go bleh. Yeah, I just want these vultures oh. to land on the top of this beholder and just go. <laughs> 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 oh, they might. They might. They'll probably eat it when it's dead. dead. You know. It is dead. It's I technically will... already dead. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it undead. Yeah, dead. It's true. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, this is I will. Say I will say if. With its current damage taken, if sleep had been cast this round, it would have worked if it mm -hmm. was the same roll. I have another spell slot for it. <laughs> but, can, but can you roll enough? That's the question. Ooh. I believe in my dice. Mm. They have oh, been carefully yes, carefully selected because <laughs> they're weighted, you see. <laughs> they're not weighted. <laughs> But they have been all given a character, so they get lots of love. <laughs> but yeah, so, here we are. How do you like this thing? I had I my love dear it. friend, love my it. dear friend, who's in chat watching, came over and painted this with me. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I love oh, that's it. Awesome. Nana has personally seen uh, scarier looking meatballs, though, so. Probably. Uh, probably. That's a pretty freaky looking meatball. Know. That that meatball is is larger than yeah, Nana. Probably would not put it on spaghetti. <laughs> Thinking yeah. about that. Yeah. It comes with its own sure. spaghetti. Look at those eye stalks. No. no I'm pretty sure no. that meatball could spaghetti. eat Nana as a snack. Like yeah, one gold, absolutely. Nana yeah, gold. one chomp. Nana Definitely. doesn't even yeah. care. Nana's a honey badger now. She's literally a honey badger. She feels <laughs> no fright. There's yeah. nothing going honey on there. Honey badger don't give a fuck. All right. Not gonna lie, I've had Waltz of the Meatball Man stuck in my head for this entire. Um, I don't want to know what in this. I don't for you. I hate that for you. No. I'm not sure I want to know. Do we have any quick questions from anyone in chat before we uh, we all? Sign yeah, if on? anyone in chat has oh, any yeah. questions, you have to be super quick because uh, Aussie Depro yes. is fading. Has faded for like the last like hour. Uh, oh, no. the, the the illness it it Ozzy spreads. Death Row is not well. Can we yeah, all wish Ozzy Death Row as well? well, well very, get the fuck better. Feel better soon, soon Ozzy. Have, yeah. 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 have some baking soda water. Good soon. Have some baking soda water. You yeah. gotta get better soon. Half a teaspoon yeah. in a cup. Half a uh, teaspoon in a cup. It actually helped. Because uh, because uh, if uh, you don't uh, get better soon, everyone's gonna be Ozzy Devo. Ozzy Dead Fro. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> dead Fro. Although, speaking of dead, how did Goose feel after that heal, by the way? Uh, uh, it, was a... you know, it felt a little weird. Like, he felt more energized, but it was also just like, uh, I don't yeah. know if I feel good yeah. about that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I... <laughs> it's just like fast forward on the healing process. Yeah. 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 We, we are done with the, the flames and the heat, and the it's it's now. It's time to start stitching, baby. Oh, <laughs> it's like when you're expecting a, uh, a warm seat and then you sit down and it's actually surprisingly cold. It's like, ah. Yep. Yep. Mm, love that. Remind me to not. Bracing. Right. <laughs> I mean, there were so many people starting to heal now. Rudy wanted to differentiate himself more. So, yeah. you know, he's branched out. Yeah. Mine's a cute little nature spirit. You can't be mad at that. And mine's a You technically scouts, don't right? know George sealed you. Yeah, he thinks he, he did it to himself, actually. He yeah, actually believes that, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Couldn't have been. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I do, have, I do have a question for you guys from my chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, sure. Aziz asks, why are you guys so cute? 
Oh, I see that question. Aww. Is these no you? Aww. Yeah, the answer <laughs> is no you. The, the answer is canonically no yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reverse Uno card. Reverse. <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> Counter spell. Oh, <laughs> shit. Hey. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I it. hope everyone had fun today. There were uh, it's been it's been a session. I was mm -hmm. not expecting an undead beholder, Josie. No. <laughs> I mean, that was the last looking, thing on my list that I was expecting. Looking, looking in the encounter builder and how encounters are supposed to work, you're um, you're supposed to be able to fight three of those, and still, it's only a hard encounter. Wow. Oh my goodness. I mean, if I had more spell slots, I'd agree with you. <laughs> I cast two and I'm done. <laughs> That's it. I was I was actually debating on whether I should cast the level three cure wounds on Goose, and I'm like, mm, I kind of want to save those mm. because I, I we'll kind of save them, those I'm spell sure. Slots. Yeah. yeah. I think so I think we'll hard. be able to deal with the beholder. Uh, like in, I, I feel like the, just... this person is actually the larger threat. To be honest. Yeah. Let, let me just say. The action economy is greatly skewed in your favor. Oh, this. yes. <laughs> oh, most Point. certainly. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Beholder has done nothing but make people afraid, and I'm actually immune to that, so I'm like, I'm just gonna whip the, beholder the shit rip out okay. of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the... Sure, that's all this Beholder that's... does. Yep, I yep. like that. Uh, that... Yeah. Yeah. I still like the Beholder. Yeah. Should... Uh, Josie, are you gonna be doing stuff after the stream, or <laughs> you want to take a break? I'm gonna roll a dice for it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's the D and D yes, way. Yes, I will. I will be. I I was considering doing it last night, but I didn't. I'm going to go on a quick break, and then I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to do a Dark Souls achievement hunting run. Yes. Oh, yes! Ooh, yes. All right, everybody. Yes. Yes. Immediately. I'm going back to basics. We're starting with Dark Souls prepared. Uh, the remaster of Prepare to Die edition. Yes. We're going to go through, and we won't stop. Well, not today, but I'll be doing it consecutively and regularly until we get all achievements for all oh three games. Oh my wow. god. Wow. Also, my chat loves you, by by the way. I've already got all the achievements for Bloodborne and Sekiro. Hey, nice. Wow. Hey. Although, what about impressive. the multiplayer? Isn't there... I thought there was not multiplayer specific. Player. Like the invasions and stuff. There are achievements. Oh based on that it's you, no there uh, well you can fidget your way through them if you do enough runs because you get and can oh, get okay, yeah. items required yeah yeah you're uh... right yeah you would be able to um mm. i would love to throw an extra challenge of put crowd control on and have fun with that but i'm telling oh, you yeah, there's, still doing there's, a okay, hunting. there's no I gotta go. Alrighty, oh, bye, bye, bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Tonight. Seriously, there is nothing better than fighting a boss and suddenly your chat flips your screen. Like, <laughs> it is the best feeling in the world. The and then you have to we'll scrabble see. to your keyboard to hit a key to flip it for chat so they can see it. Because chat was like, oh, why can't we see the flip? And I'm like, it's okay, fine. It. Now I'm going to flip your screen too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is still big head mode. Big head mode is pretty sweet. Yes. Nice. What? It is pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll and it makes see. his head like extra big, like bobblehead. Heavenly, have you not seen we'll what I've been doing? I've seen some of it, but honestly, I haven't been on Twitch oh much God. in the last I, uh, I haven't probably seen. week. Well, this wild. week's the last week for it. All right, it's I'll try and stop it. All right, you lovely folks in my chat. I'll just have to I'm going to send you over to Josie's yeah. stream now. Alrighty. I'll be hanging out here until I... we all sign off. Sending you all over to Josie. Yep. Yeah, we're going to go see Josie. Yes, that is that is what's happening. That's what's on the thing. Thank you for joining us. 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 Thank you guys. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> we tried so going, hard we'll, to get rid of you. <laughs> we'll, we'll, see, we'll see if George comes back next week. We'll see. We'll, we'll have a talk and see if George survives. Yeah. We'll see George. Although if George can take my beholder, then that kills two birds one stone. Oh. Wait. Why are you killing Cuddly's birds? Don't be killing now, birds. Now I'm in trouble with two people. Damn it. <laughs> 